I should be live here. Back again on another day? Streaming some more? Today we will be, we will be playing. I'm flubbing the first two sentences I get out. Today we are going to be playing some Pokey MMO. And what we're doing today is continuing our journey through Sinnoh. Now, if I'm being honest, I was I was thinking about it for a little bit. I was like, should I should I play some Unite today? I was thinking about playing Unite for this stream this morning. Because I, if I did end up streaming last night, I was going to end up playing uh, Pokemon Unite. But I unfortunately wasn't able to stream last night. What I had going on didn't end till late. So I was like, I wasn't able to, wasn't able to stream. I will note, we will be live tonight playing uh, Pokemon Unite. Tonight. I'll be going through Poke, Pokemon Unite. We'll do like a Pokedoku maybe. I'll go through the Discord and all that stuff. We'll do a bunch of different stuff tonight. That'll be for later tonight though. For this stream here today, I did make the decision to just continue to play Poke MMO because yesterday we started Sinnoh. We only streamed for two hours in the morning yesterday though because I ended that stream early so I could get ready to then go stream during the Eclipse. Now, with the Eclipse yesterday, I thought I was supposed to have it to where it was like gonna get from like night or night, night today, day to night. Like it was supposed to look like it got dark out. Like it did change a little bit. I have no clue if the camera picked it up, but I mean, it didn't look like anything really happened whatsoever. Now, I do so many people talk about, don't look at the sun, don't look at the sun. I'm like, like, to be fair, like, who hasn't, like, looked up at the sun before? Like, I don't go blind from just looking at it like that. Unless it's different with the solar eclipse, I have no idea. I wasn't looking up at that thing, though. We had the, the screen. We were streaming. We had Murph with us. We were looking at it, and Shadow Lugia was with us, too. Didn't really make that much of a difference. I would eventually get a, a pair of those glasses. And I would look up after. This is about an hour after the stream. I had a pair of glasses and I looked up at it. And you could still see it. It was pretty cool. But I saw some people were able to do it. Like to put the glasses in front of the phone. And then look up at it. I'm like man I wish I had the glasses for the stream. That would have been sick. But it did. Like I didn't notice a change. I thought I was just. I genuinely thought it was just like. Oh I'm just like thinking it's changing it's not actually changing then once i was sitting there and i looked up the time i'm like oh no it actually like it, it did get a little dimmer outside yeah i did notice that because then i know i i i wasn't sure about that i thought i was just imagining it but then i i noticed for sure we were sitting on that bench it got from like that dimmer to normal and i was like okay i definitely noticed that i thought it was supposed to get dark out though i thought it was legit supposed to be like dark outside though that's why i was so hyped to go out and stream it and all that stuff <laughs> Kind of unfortunate, though. It was fun doing the Pokemon Go stream yesterday, and it was kind of a bit of a taste of what is to come in the future for the Pokemon Go streams, because I, I, I do... I, I'm thinking about how I should do this, because I kind of want the Daily Instance to be like an everyday stream, except probably Saturday, because Saturday I just want to be the video that I post. And so I do want to have the Daily Instance stream be a thing every day, and I was thinking, like, should I do it in the morning, like, before this stream... Should I do it right after this stream, the middle of the day, like I did yesterday? Should I do it, like, more in the evening? Like, around, like, uh, maybe about an hour before the night streams normally are starting now? Or maybe when the night streams go on now, like, do the uh, daily incense. Like, maybe some nights just do that for the stream, and some nights we're inside. I, I, I don't know. I do want to do that a lot more, though. I will note, I love going out and playing Pokemon Go. And the daily incense is, like, I, I when I go out and play, like, I will note, like, going out and playing, like, a whole bunch is a lot different than the daily incense. Daily incense is only 15 minutes. But going out... And just doing the daily incense every day is like, I don't, for me, that's like a staple of summer. Like every summer, or it's only been two summers so far. I mean, one and a half technically, because it first came out in August and summer's, I mean, like that's the second half of summer. You got June, July, August, and then September is like school and all that stuff's going on. So it was only really for a summer and a half. But last summer, dude, like going out and doing the day, I did it pretty much every single day. Just going out and doing it was just so much fun. I just enjoy doing it so much. I mean, it's because it's, it's not like, it's not super, it's 15 minutes. Like, who doesn't have 15 minutes to just go walk around? Like, it's not that difficult to do whatsoever. And it's just, it's it's so much fun. And it's like something you can easily do consistently. That's one big thing with anything in life. We'll get some life lessons here from the Pokey Playa. Everyone, when they try to do something new or you're like doing something that's going to be a change in maybe your normal routine or just your life as a whole. Everyone tries to go like all in with something. And there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people try to do like too much. For instance, maybe you want to start working out and you go for a run. Your first day you go for a run, you run 10 miles and you feel great. It was the first day you went out running. It was phenomenal. Then the second day comes and you got to go run those 10 miles again. Then the third day, then the fourth and the fifth. And you realize you just don't have, you, I mean, like physically, you don't have the, 
ability to do so. I, like, I used to run and stuff here and there. And I always remember when you have a long break and then you go run that first day, you felt phenomenal. You could just like run forever. Then that second day, you could barely walk. So it's like, it, <laughs> it's it's rough. Just You can't just like go all in to start. And also, dude, running 10 miles takes a long time. It takes a lot of time during the day. And so another big thing with the consistency aspect of it is finding something that you're capable of doing every day and finding something you have time to do every day. Once you put those two together, that's like, I mean, the perfect recipe. And it's like it evolves into something you can consistently do every single day and improve on every single day. For instance, the daily incense, 15 minutes. I can go walk around for 15 minutes. 15 minutes isn't that much time. I'm perfectly fine with going and spending 15 minutes every day and just walking around doing daily incense. Play Pokemon Go and have so much fun doing it every single day. It's absolutely perfect for me going out and playing that game. And I have an absolute blast doing so. And so I'm thinking for the streams, I do want to start doing those. It probably will end up being something where we do it every single day, except maybe like Saturday or Sunday or something like that. Every weekday, probably even Sunday as well. The only thing is like with Saturday, I just want on my channel just to be the video. Maybe I do. Maybe I just record the Daily Incense and then post it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I, I do want to do the Daily Incense a lot more uh, during the summer. I will note that. And the weather is starting to turn around, dude. It is, I think... Well, I mean, today and tomorrow is like 60-something and sunny. And then it's like cloudy, rainy, and like in the 50s. For So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nice. I think it's Thursday, Friday, cloudy, rainy. But then Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be like 70 and sunny. It's like, again, we're getting into the warm weather. That means more time to spend going out playing Pokemon Go. So much stuff to look forward to. So excited for all of that. But I should probably transition into what we're going to be doing here today, which is playing some Pokey MMO. And actually, I do want to check something real quick. Because I went to get the link for the channel. Because those that don't know, on Instagram, I always post when I go live. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, at the Pokey Player. Or it might be the underscore Pokey underscore Player. The link's in the description of all the streams and videos and, uh, you know, the, all the streams and the videos. But I went to grab the link for the stream to put it in the description of the Instagram bio. And I noticed that the, it was like, it wasn't, it popped up weird. So let me pull up my own channel. To see if I can even see. Oh, no, it says I'm live. It says I'm live. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Best Pokemon game of all time. Pokey MMO. It is all good to go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was worried there for a second. Like, hopefully I'm actually live. No, no, no. We're live. We're good. We are off and running. Anything else I wanted to talk about at the start here? Had the eclipse yesterday. That was low-key and L. Talked about doing the daily incense. I thought there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. The streams, I talked about the night stream. Uh, again, I apologize, I didn't have one yesterday. I had a, I had something going on, and I didn't finish till like, I didn't finish till like 8.30. I hadn't even, I hadn't even eaten dinner yet. So then I went out, I went out and got Little Caesars, because I was like, I was like, it's not enough time to make anything. So I went and got Little Caesars, ate Little Caesars, ate that. By the time everything was cleaned up and said and done, it was like 9.30. You sat on the couch for like 30 minutes, then went to bed. So, I apologize there wasn't a stream last night. There will be a Unite stream tonight, though. I'm so excited to play that. I love playing Pokemon Unite. It's so much fun. I was playing a bit over the weekend. I was playing a bit over the weekend. We were, I was playing with some people. We were five stack and running casual. Dude, my, sorry, my nose, like, itches right here. Everyone ever have that? The edge of your nose, like, itches? And you all, you look like you're picking your nose. But I'm not. I'm scratching the edge of my nose. But, with <laughs> Unite, we were five stacking over the weekend. Dude, we were beating the piss out of everybody. Everybody. I mean, I think we went six or eight games unbeaten. We were balling out. I was playing YY. I love playing Decidueye in that game, man. It is so much fun. Decidueye and Pokemon Unite. For me, that's a match made in heaven. That is just so much fun. I just enjoy using Decidueye so much. Something about just sniping with it. The... It doesn't really have movement, but at the same time, I like the movement of it. And I'm not going to lie, I'm getting used to the ult. I will note, on my, I was playing on my phone. On my phone, when you do the ult, more often than not, I have found, like, so I'm aiming it to, say, the right. And as soon as I use it, it spins me around 180 degrees and I have to spin back. So I'm wasting the time spinning around and back, just shooting the thing like it's, uh, 
it's um it, it kind of just sucks because like you just use it and then it's like you're spending half your time just trying to aim it just shooting off into nowhere i have found when i play on the ipad though it is better i have found on the ipad though it is a bit better so i did notice that that when we use it on there it, it's not as bad where i don't spin around because that was the i remember it was the first ult i used over the weekend i'm like i used it and it just instantly went to the just spinning around i'm like okay it, I don't feel like it does that on the iPad as much, but that's what I was dealing with um, when I was playing there. That's the only really complaint I have about the Sage Why. You guys know I love the Sage Why and Pokemon Unite. It's the best. But without further ado, let's get into PokeMO. Yo, Redstone and Galaxy Eater, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, Where are we at? I am in. Actually, you know what? We'll log in right now, and I'll show you guys. Dude, my finger. I don't know if you can see it. Right? My finger got, like, crushed over the weekend. We were moving some stuff. And my finger got, like, the tip of it got, like, squished. Nothing broke. But it, like, the... Actually, no, I think it's smushed. It was more so... So something hit my nail and, like, peeled. So it's the one I'm pointing at right there. The one that's sitting straight up. This one. Something hit it and like the skin and pulled it down it's not like a it's like a like paper cut type injury it's one i'm explained though so it like pulled the skin down and like ripped apart the skin just under the nail like it peeled it off essentially and it's some super small little baby injury but like stuff like this you don't realize how much you use something until like there's a problem with it or like until stuff like you're unable to use it like i so i'm left-handed and so when I'm using a uh, like a, a uh, uh, scrolling on a phone, doing something on like my iPad, or like for instance using the I don't even know what it's called the mouse pad on like a computer, dude, it hurts so bad to use a mouse pad because you think about it, like when you're using it, it's like move that piece of skin's moving, and so every time I go to scroll up on a mouse pad. It peels back the skin, and it just hurts, man. I got to use my middle finger now to scroll around and do all that stuff. But here we go. Getting into the game. Uh, let me go over to Pokemon. Here we go. Audio's good. You guys can hear me. You guys can hear the game. Here we go. So currently, we are in Sinnoh. We are over in Sinnoh, continuing our journey of PokeMMO. Now, I was thinking about this actually yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to just go all through Sinnoh here. I kind of want to try to do... Because we did, we kind of did all of... We we bounced back and forth between Hoenn and Unova a little bit. Like, when we did it, though, we kind of just used our Hoenn Pokemon and Hoenn and Unova Pokemon and Unova. I think I kind of want to combine Kanto and Sinnoh. Because I'm like... I don't mean to sound negative saying this but these are kind of like the two ones i'm not the most excited to play we're saving johto for the last one because i want to save that one for the last one we played hoenn the one i never played before super excited to play we played unova my favorite games of all time and now we're in Sinnoh, which the Sinnoh games are fine and the kanto games are fine as well but they're just not my favorite so i was thinking i i think i'm gonna bounce back and forth with them and go back and forth between the two again i don't like it's not like that i dislike Sinnoh or kanto it's just like we just like the kanto games especially it's like i don't know it's like i feel like those are just i want to say like basic and simple but like again it's like it's the first ever pokemon games and it's just i've i've seen so much of it i've played them it's like now I, I know i said i played black and white more than every other game combined but like i don't just kanto it's like that story just, i've gone through it so many times it's just like kind of like a routine now at this point these games don't aren't as as much like that. It's just so like like the Sinnoh teams though. Like I want to kind of use more Kanto Pokemon than Sinnoh Pokemon. So what we're gonna do is you we're gonna do once we get to the fourth gym here, we're gonna head over to Kanto and then we're gonna go back and forth between both and do like both simultaneously. I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, Kanto is a little plain, especially too. We I mean we just played it what the end of last summer with um Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So it wasn't like that long ago that we did that. So, um, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll still play through Kanto just because, uh, it'll, it, it is what it is. Did everyone smash an index is playing a lot of Halo then? Dude, oh my god. 
I've had times where I'm playing like Fortnite or something, and then you it, do something to your thumbs, and you don't realize how like it hurt. Like there was one time, I, like my nail got like it was my left thumb. The nail got cut too short, and so I'm playing. I might have been a, a messing with me in Unite too. The movement in Unite and in like Fortnite, like it's it, with the Joy-Con or just the screen. It just it's little things like that, man. It's little things like that that you don't realize how much of a it's not that the injuries hurt, it's just how much of an inconvenience they are. I think that's the best way to describe it, an inconvenience. Okay, where do I even go? Ooh, Licky Licky near Lake Valor. That's actually pretty cool. Um. Wait, no, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, I'm in the... Where was I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to go to Eterna City. Eternus City is where we want to go. We got to make our way over there. Which is the way? I don't know. Oh, there's Team Galactic people here, so we're going the right way. Did you say spacemen came and took her? They're calling the Team Galactic people aliens? Eterna Forest. Isn't something in Eterna Forest? Oh, I can't battle them? Is it something... I think something's in Eterna Forest. Valley Windworks. Oh, it's gotta be over here. There's the... Are they turbines? What are these things called? I think they're turbines. Something along the lines of that. Don't you dare go in the Valley Windworks. I, I'll bet. Can I battle you to try to go in? Those other guys wouldn't even give me the option to battle them. All right, here we go. I think I might be under level. I don't know. Because I have noticed other people that have been around me, they all have Monfernos. I still have a Piplup. To be fair, though, we do have two other Pokemon we're using. Tropius is in the party, but uh, we're not using Tropius. Tropius is just the HM Mon we have for all the regions. God, please don't kill Piplup. 3 HP, let's go, Piplup! Does Chimchar actually evolve early? I thought all the starters were the same. I thought it was level 16. You catch a Bidoof? I, I have not. I haven't caught a Bidoof. Alright, hang on. I gotta heal up um, Piplup. Who's sitting there on 1 HP or 3 HP right now. It's locked from the inside. He said something. Did he say to go? I thought it said flowers. I don't know if it said flowers or grass. I think. Do I go over here now? Oh, crap. Oh, he was at 14. Seriously? Okay, then. Yeah, we're perfectly fine. Should I get a Gastrodon? Gastrodon's pretty cool. I don't think I need one. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. What do I do? I gotta start reading the thing. I gotta start reading this, because look, we just did black and white, and I know how to play black and white. It's not Kanto where everything's so obvious, you just know exactly where to go. Oh yeah, we already have Piplup, you're right. I'm not even saying we, we, we already have a water type. Well, the Valley Windworks is locked, little girl. Was I to grab something in the flowers? I thought they said something about the flowers. Yeah, 
Yeah, Team Galactic's in there harassing that guy for real. No way I have to pull up Purple Rodri already. I'm, I'm actually lost. I don't know where to go. Is there like an objective thing that'll tell me what to do? Do I have to look it up already? No way I'm this bad. I'm looking it up. I have absolutely no idea what to do. Purple Rodri, look at already. It, it, I wonder if my phone's listening to me at all times because that was the first thing that popped up. On the search. Purple Rodri Platinum. 12 years ago these videos were. Dude, Purple Rodri, he was like that. He was pulling almost a million views a video. That was back in the day. This video is from 12 years ago, 2011. That's crazy, man. I remember watching these videos. Shout out Purple Rodri. I got a Chick-fil-A ad. Chicken strips. That's not a new thing, is it? Chick-fil-A's made chicken strips before, right? Dang. Purple Rogers posting 15 minute videos. He didn't get to the first gym till episode four. Dang. We got to the first gym in the first hour of the stream. Purple Rogers was like that. Alright, sorry, I'm watching the video to figure out where to go because I have no idea where to go. Because I was talking. Alright, he goes into here. Those are the guys that you want to, they want to see their dad. Battles the guy. Okay. Wait, so he, he, Purple Roger doesn't know what to do either. Watching this video, he doesn't even know what to do. Oh, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Dude, this should be the same as Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, right? I just played this not that long ago. Maybe it's because it looks so different. We got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah, maybe it's because it's been so long. I mean, it hasn't maybe just played so many other regions since then. I don't know. I, I may, did I think this was a new area? I don't know. Now, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I didn't really think were that great. Because it was like... If they did Platinum, I would have liked it a bit better. 
But, like, I mean, the Diamond and Pearl games weren't even that, like, great to begin with. Like, the only games, I think, for the, if they were to do, like, a one-of-one -one copy that fans would unanimously enjoy would be Black and White. Like, honestly. Because Black and White are so much fun. Again, that those are my favorite games as well. But, like, if you think about it, because, like, when people talk about, like, Gen 4, they don't say, oh, oh my gosh, Diamond Pearl are the best games ever. They go, no, Platinum is one of the best games ever. Same thing with Emerald and Hoenn. Alright, Piplup's gonna die to Zubat. So if the I, I won't swap him out because the Pokemon Center is just below us. <clears throat> See, here's the thing: Beldum has no moves. I don't know if I've ever played with a Beldum before in a game, like through a game, because I've obviously get him like post game and level him up and stuff. I don't know if I've ever done this though, like trying to play the game with a Beldum. That was a crit! 1 HP? Torkoal's kind of the carry right now for, uh, for Sinnoh. So that was a crit, and it took 1. It took 1 HP again. So I guess the lowest it can do is 1. It won't take half an HP point. Come on, Torkoal, level up from that! God, it wasn't enough. Another Zubat. We'll fire spin again. I wonder how many gyms we'll be able to get through today. Oh, God. They got the flinch, though. That is a problem. When they get the flinch. I don't care if they do a, get a crit and do two damage. The flinch is the problem. Those are the things that slow us down. Torkoal's such a cool Pokemon. I like Torkoal so much. Underrated for sure. The little fire turtle. Or volcano turtle. I think volcano might be better fitting. Okay, I got the key. Now I can go into the Valley Windworks. They're trying to take his honey. If I'm being honest, for me, it was Gen 5. Like, Gen 5, I like the game more than the Pokemon. Like, I like the story in the battles more than I like the actual Pokemon. Then look at Hoenn, though. Like, Hoenn, the story was fun. But, like, I like Hoenn so much because of the Pokemon. Sinnoh, though, like... I mean, Sinnoh's got some good Pokemon. It's the legendaries for me. They don't really have that many cool legendaries. You have Garatina and Darkrai. And, like, that's it. The Commander. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna battle as many as I can here for the XP. I think that's Mars, right? Oh, actually, she's the lady... The person that looked like her in uh, Legends Arceus was, uh, I think the lady that did the haircuts, right? Yo, Piplup, you gotta evolve. I can't be dealing with you doing this. Evolve to Printplup already. I can't deal with you getting outsped and nearly taken out by Zubats in battle. This isn't gonna fly. We're not gonna win battles. If we're depending on Torko alone, because no disrespect to Beldum, but Beldum isn't worth anything in battles. He dies right away. Or it, Beldum's genderless, my bad. Why would I take Peck over Aerial Ace? Did I learn Aerial Ace early? 
Aerial Ace is a way better move than Peck. Clammy out. It's guaranteed it goes fake out. Guaranteed it goes fake out first. The seasons were excellent to see the Pokemon with the fake. I will note. Wait, which season was great? Did you like? The black and white ones, I honestly might be the worst one, I think. For the anime. Black and white, I think, might be the worst. I, no, I, I will admit, Heatran is pretty cool. But black and white for me, I think, was the worst anime. Sinnoh was really good. But Hoenn was like... Like, that's when I first remember. The Battle Frontier specifically. I, li I thought that was so cool. I liked it so much. The Battle Frontier I thought was awesome. What does White Smoke do? I'm going to have to check. Does that prevent me from getting any debuffs or something like that? Kalos was the best? Oh, I agree. Yeah, Kalos anime is the best. The only other one I would consider is Journeys. Journeys was good. I like Journeys. Because all the callbacks going back to the old stuff. The concept of like the world championships and all that. I, I really liked all of that stuff. Then obviously the final, like the Masters 8 tournament. If I'm being honest, Masters 8, like in terms of stacking it next to Kalos, Masters 8 tournament hard carries there for Journeys. I enjoyed all of Journeys. It was the first Pokemon anime since... Maybe black and white that I watched like week in, week out. Like I watched it weekly pretty much. Towards the end there, I didn't. I will note, like during the Masters 8 tournament, I kind of stopped watching it weekly cause just so I could stack them up and watch all the, like binge it and watch all the battles in a row. I did do that at the end. But for the most part, journeys I was watching week by week. And I loved it, man. I thought it was so good. But... Like, X and Y was just different. Like, I think definitely, overall, I think X and Y, Kalos, is number one. And Journeys is number two. A lot of people like Sinnoh as well. After that, I mean, this might be a hot take. I should do, I should rank the animes. Because I've seen all of them. I should do that as a tier list. Ranking the Pokemon animes. Because, so, I really like, obviously, Kalos and Journeys. Then after that, though, I say it's between Sinnoh, Hoenn, and Alola. A lot of people didn't like Alola just because of how Ash looked. I will note, I didn't really like how he looked either. Because, like, it's, it's the transition from Kalos, where we had the coolest Ash of all time, to then what he was in Alola. Now, and I can understand people being upset with that. But for me, like, if you get past that, how he looks, you get past that he looks kind of weird. It's so good. Kanto's third best. Kanto was cool, too. I, like, one of my favorite parts about Kanto is just the Pokemon he had. Like, his team from back then... What was his... Yeah, he dodged it. Yeah, he won the whole league. I love the Pokemon he had. I love... I think Hoenn might be third for me. I mean, Alola. I think I'd put Alola third. For my enjoyment. Because uh, Alola... I keep saying Hoenn. Alola... You have my favorite starter, Rowlet. That's why it's my favorite starter, because of Rowlet and the Alolan anime. You have Ash with Meltan, or Meltan and Melmetal get introduced. My, some of my favorite steel type and just favorite Pokemon of all time. Actually, my favorite, they are technically mythicals. And if they're classifying those as mythicals, those would be my favorite mythical Pokemon. Then you have Duskform Lycanroc and Cinnaroar. Ash winning the league, the Ultra Beasts, 
beware in the anime. I love Alola, man. It, it was so good. Dang, 200 XP in Beldum, you won't level up still? Oh, wait, that guy's on Team Galactic? I thought that was... I was saving that guy. Oh, is the only guy I saved the guy back there? Oh, no, that guy in the back was the person that worked here. I was gonna say, there should be someone that works here, here. Oh, well, that was the guy I saved. All right, there we go. We saved the day. We saved them. Beware was funny, dude. I loved Beware. Beware was never afraid to throw hands. Is, I forgot, is Look Girl, like, just bothering you nonstop? This game? Wait, did he say they're going to Eternal City? Is that where I'm going? It is where I'm going. So we'll meet him again in Eternal City. Dude, my favorite part of Beware was when it fought Buzzwool and um, Baramosa. When it fought the Ultra Beasts. That was the best part for me. That was Beware's best moment. Beware throwing hands with the alien Pokemon from different dimensions. Without skipping a beat, he just went right at him. All right. Do we go across this way now? The trainers that want to battle. One thing I also really liked about the Alolan anime... <clears throat> Oh, I'm trying to think of other anime. The other animes really did this. One thing the Alola anime I thought really did good was like have stories within the story that remained relevant throughout the entirety of the main story. For instance, like how lit lit and with Stoutland, like that was relevant. Like they kept rep like that was something that was there through a lot of the story. The Masked Royal. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, like it Rock Refund evolved to the Like it Rock. And once it evolved to that one, like, with Gladion having the other Like it Rock. Like, I don't know, like, I, I, this might just be me, like, mis, misreading it. But, like, I felt like there was a lot of, like, m smaller segments of the story that remained present throughout the entirety of the story when in other series. We'd have those as just a single episode, then it was never referenced again. Do you understand what I mean? Like, rather than having these little spin-off things they do that just never appear again, I felt so many of them came back and remained relevant. Maybe that was because, like, when they were fighting the Ultra Beasts and stuff, and, like, there was, uh, when uh, Necrozma showed up, like, all that stuff was, like, kind of everybody got involved. That might be why. <laughs> One thing, too, you said Ash and Co. Like, the, the other students at the Pokemon school. I liked all the other pe the all the side cast. Like, they learned from Sinnoh. Does they say Sinnoh Chimchar? Yeah, the Sinnoh's Chimchar. Yeah, like that, exactly. <clears throat> That's a perfect example. Ash getting the Chimchar from Paul, and then like that's like the one of the main relevant things of the entirety of the story. Exactly, that's a perfect example. Oh wait, the Pipple, I think it evolves now. Beldum grew to 14. Beldum six levels off evolving. We still can't use it because only it's, okay, Pipple is evolving. Let's go! The little penguin. Evolves into the slightly bigger penguin. Piplup. To Printplup. 
is the is the evolution screen the same for all gens in this game wait i have to battle the guy oh no he's trying to learn metal claw Oh no, Prinplup just wanted to learn Metal Claw. Dude, the music was still playing and the guy was standing there. I'm like, do I have to battle this guy now? He's like, my Geodudes are dead. I'm ready to throw hands. I was like, I didn't know Sinnoh was like that. God, I tried to avoid them and I just froze up trying to run away deciding where to go. Dude, my cords are leaning right down where I put my feet. I Oh, look what we have, the first Apom. I'm so worried I'm going to unplug something. What are these cords even for? Oh, that one's becoming unplugged. I have no idea. All right. Pr oh, yo, print pump's kind of low. Dude, we kind of got some, uh, we have some coverage here. Flying steel bubble. Printplot was a good choice. Wait, it, it's not a steel type already, is it? No way, right? It's still just a water. Pure water. I need to check. Primpa, but you pure yeah, it's pure water. Oh wait, what was like uh Torkoal's ability? I was gonna check what his ability does. <laughs> Prevents foes reducing its stats. Yo, that's kind of fire, no? That's a sick one. Excuse me. Alright. Excuse me, keep burping. Dude, yesterday, one of the scariest things ever happened to me. It was legit top 10 scariest things that's ever happened to me. So this is shortly after I ended yesterday's stream in the morning. I was going poop. And I'm sitting there. And then from under the door, one of those big creepy crawly bugs just comes crawling in. It scared the crap out of me, man. Oh, God, I, I did the complete wrong move. Like, bugs, I mean, I guess bugs do, uh, like, my parents tell me when I was little I was terrified of bugs. Like, bugs don't bother me that much anymore, really. But, dude, no, I, I have explained this. The legs are what bother me. If there's big creepy legs, and that's what these things have, dude, I'm like, I'm almost getting like the chills thinking about like the the creeps just talking about it. Dude, it came crawling under the door. I'm like, oh my god! And then it, thankfully it just spun around and ran back out. I'm like, hopefully Murphy will deal with it. Murphy's so weird, dude. Cause every time I'm in the bathroom, Mur does anyone else's dog do this? Do this? Does your dog follow you into the bathroom? Yo, uh, Zekaramu, thank you for tuning in. Day three of asking for an oiled up stream. <laughs> Not happening, not happening. Dude, but Murphy always follows me to the bathroom, and I don't let him in. So I leave him right outside the door, and there's times where I'm in the bathroom, like if I'm in there like brushing my teeth or something like that, and I'll hear right outside the bathroom door, he's... He's like sniffing like that. I can hear him sniffing. He wants to like come in. I'm like, Murphy's out there. Hopefully he'll deal with the, the bug. And then I go out there, the bug's gone, and Murphy's standing out there. So I'm like, I right, Murphy must have taken care of it then. Murphy's... Was that just the noise of Prinplup dying, or was that him barking? I don't know. Murphy was out there standing on business, nonetheless. Dang, that white smoke... I, I really haven't noticed how many moves really, like, give you drops... Since having white smoke, like, I, every move, it seems like I use, it goes off every time I use Torkoal.
It asked you for rent money? Yeah, I should be asking those things for rent. I should be asking them for rent money. I'm so scared that if I attack a bug, it dodges and counters me. Oh my god. The bug starts throwing hands. He hits you with a full combo. Where's the next town? Man? Will they? Will these people heal me up? The random lady did heal me. Let's go. Okay. Um. I, we are going the right way. We'll battle this person here. <laughs> Bugs are just like anime counterparts, though. Dude, but like, my parents told me when I was little, like, I was traumatized of bugs for no real reason. I was just, I just was scared of them. It, I don't know, even to this day, like, it, like, I, like, we, I get, those, you guys have stink bugs? I see them all the time. They're always, like, they always end up in the house right at this time of year. Like, springtime. I don't know where they come from. It's not like we have the windows open. But, like, they somehow make their way inside. And, like, I, like, dude, those things will be, I just flick those things or just crush them. Or, our, my favorite way to, um, eliminate the stink bugs is to shoot them down with a nerf gun. Alright, Cheryl, you can go with me. Dude, I love the music in here. Where time flows eternally. Yo, what's that green rock? What's oh, a rock covered in moss? Oh, a double battle. We're supposed to all rounders with wings. Oh, I can use that evolve to that rock to evolve Eevee. That's kind of sick. Get a Leafeon. You know what? I should have a Leafeon or Glaceon on the team. I want to. I kind of want a Glaceon. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get a Glaceon. How do I get an Eevee? Anyone know? Thank God that Pachirisu is targeting the Driftloom. Oh, the fight at the end? In uh in Johto, dude, yeah, I remember the first time I played through that. I was playing on just my normal. I played just normally on a DS. I wasn't doing like a randomizer or MMO or anything like this. And man, those Dragonites. I was obviously under leveled going into it. And you got to roll up against not one, not two, but three of those Dragonites. Lance has got. And then his other Pokemon are what? He has three Dragonites. Is it Charizard? Aerodactyl and Gyarados? Or is it Kingdra, Aerodactyl, and Gyarados? Nonetheless, he's got some cracked Pokemon. That's one of my favorite battles, actually, ever. Yeah, that, that's, one, that's, the, that's one of the reasons why I'm saving. I want to save Johto. Because Johto's got so much good stuff. And I wonder in this game, in Johto, like, so obviously, like, you go to each region. But it's, like, each game. Like, so Kanto is already its own region here. But do you still go back to Kanto when you go play Johto here? I'm interested how that works out. Wait, 
wild EV and Unova. Nah, it's I, it's just um black and white stuff. Grind so much until Jota was really difficult. I think I'm trying to sorry, I'm trying to remember my team. I had Typhlosion as my starter. I had Ampharos, Heracross. I used the shiny Gyarados, I'm pretty sure. Ampharos, Heracross, shiny Gyarados. God, what was my team? Oh, I had a Gengar! Typhlosion, Gengar. Ampharos, Heracross, Gyarados. I don't remember the last one. Hey. Five out of six isn't bad. Was Printfluff just healed up? Yeah, Paralyzed Heal would have been nice for that battle with that Pachirisu. I kind of like how dim it is in here. I'll have to look up how to get an Eevee. In Scarlet and Violet, they're easy. They just spawn in the wild normally now. I want a Glaceon, though. That's going to be sick for the team. Dude, my legs, like, I don't know what it is. My legs, like, ache today. I didn't even do legs at the gym yesterday. And it's not like an ache from, like, the gym. Maybe I'm growing. Is it growing pain? Am I getting taller? Or are my legs gonna fall off? Ugh. You go to the ice gym? Yeah, I... Uh... Snow Point City, I believe it's called. Snow Point City to evolve to Glaceon. We do push, pull, push, pull. We do push, pull days. I know some people that do splits like that. I do, um, Monday, mainly, it's, I so every day I do pull-ups. And then I have other stuff sprinkled in. So, like, the main thing Monday is chest. So then I do a little core and forearms. And then Tuesday, I do back. And then there's also, um, there's a little bit of legs. I don't do legs on their own day. I do it split up throughout the week. So I do squat. I do a couple, like, some squats on Tuesdays as well. Wednesday, shoulders, and then lunges. And then forearms again. No. Do I do forearms again? Yeah, I do do forearms again. Thursday, arms. Forearms, obviously, it's like biceps, triceps, forearms. Oh, no, I don't do legs on Thursday, but I do pull-ups. And then Friday, I kind of do a mix of everything. May and that's the one day I kind of do a little bit extra legs, though. Did the Arnold split, but it killed me. My arms are my strong point. I do Olympic level walking daily. <laughs> been bulking for centuries dude bulking's bulking's harder than cutting i don't care what anyone says bulking's way harder than cutting i've cut before i've gotten down to like eight percent body fat cutting is like you just have to not you, you just don't eat and you get and you get used to it after a little while and like cut like here's the thing too so Cutting, you get used to after a little while. And when you're cutting, the the food you do eat is so good. Like, but you, you realize how good food, because you're not eating as much. Like, you realize how good, like, peanut butter. Or, like, my, my favorite thing to make while I was cutting, I would have a, um, a filet of salmon. It'd be a, a cup of white rice, a filet of salmon, and one avocado with a little bit of soy sauce. I would have that for dinner. Just put it all, make the salmon in like a pressure cooker. Just normal avocado, just normal white rice. And then I'd mix it all up together in a bowl with some soy sauce. That was my favorite thing to have. It was so good. It was so good. 
in. Like, I would devour that every time I would eat it. It's like, I enjoyed it so much. But then when you're bulking, I've never done, like, a legitimate bulk. Because, like, I I've never been able to stick to it long enough. Because, like, an actual bulk, you're, like, you're eating so much non-stop. It gets to the point where it's like, you, d you don't want to eat. You feel like you're going to throw up and all that stuff. It's like, when you're cutting, it's... Yes, you're hungry and stuff. Because you're not eating. But, like, you just have to not eat. It's, it's not hard to not eat. It's harder to just not do something than it is to force yourself to do something. It's harder... It's easier to just sit there and not eat than it is to sit there and force food down your throat. So I'll always say cutting's way easier than bulking. Neither one's easy, I will note that. Neither one is, uh... Neither one's easy, but I'd go... I'd take doing a cut over a bulk any day. Unless... The only way I would be... I think I'd be able to handle, like, a legit bulk is if I did, like, the dirtiest bulk of all time. Because, like, I can't... Like, I like... I eat a lot. I can eat a lot. But, like, because of that, because I eat so much already, if I were to bulk, I have to just bring it to a completely different level. Like, I... If it's, I can't do that with healthy food still. Like, I have to just start housing donuts and pizza and ice cream just to get the calories in. Which, I mean, to be honest, like, I saw, I, I watched Sam Sulek. I don't watch his videos, but I, I follow him on TikTok and see all the clips and stuff on TikTok of him. And he was talking about bulking as he was sitting there eating a large pizza. He's like, if you're, if you're, like, actually exercising and working out and you have, like, your legit routine and stuff you do and you're, like, burning, like, legit calories and, like, you actually have a plan, like, there's no problem with eating, like, pizza or ice cream and stuff just to get calories in because if you're bulking, calories are just calories. Like, you just want to get calories in. Yeah, it does matter to an extent what kind of calories you are consuming. I will not that. You don't want to just eat pizza. It is helpful to eat, you know, like high protein foods and that kind of stuff as well but for the most part like just getting calories down is the most important part i'd have to go full dirty bulk though just eating i mean to be fair i don't really eat like my kind of um diet you could say is kind of like i, don't, I will know i don't have a diet i my diet is eat whatever i want whenever i want because i exercise so much but like, when I, I... I would keep track of my food. Like, my fitness pal and stuff. Um. My fitness pal, I would use a lot and track all the food I ate. And after about, like... I did it for a solid... I think six to eight months. Somewhere in there. Eventually, you get to a point to where it's just like... You just know what the calories are. You know what you're taking in. So, with me, it's more so just like... I just eat whatever, whenever. Because I'm like, I know where I'm at. Like, there there are times where it's like, I won't eat something because I'm like, I'm like, oh, I've had too much of this today already. Or some, there are some occasions like that. For the most part, though, I'm just whatever. But my preferred diet, which is what I did while I was cutting, it's like, it doesn't really matter the food. Just worry about being within the caloric range. That's the main thing for me. As long as you're in that the right range. I don't I don't personally for me. Again, I'm not trying to say this is my advice for other people. I'm just saying what I did. Like for me, it was just as long as I'm in the no, correct number of calories, I don't care where the calories come from. I don't care if it's 100 calories from fruit or 100 calories from a donut. Like, it is what it is for me. What, boss? Big Richie or Father Guacamole? I don't know. I don't know what either one of those are. My bad. Is this the exit over here? This might be the exit over here. I thought that was a shiny for a second. Yeah, Sam is on. Sam's on that gear. He is. I like, like, 
I just like listening to what he has to say. Just eat noodles and beef for the easy bulk. Both got hella calories. Yeah, noodles. Yeah, that's a good one. Noodles are. Because pasta. Like, my brother's kind of, like, bulking right now. And I was even I was telling him, I was like, just pasta is just one of the easiest things to do. Because he likes pasta. So I'm like, you like this already. You can just easily crush this. Like, he'll have, like, a box of pasta on his own. This lady said Team Galactic's in here. We haven't seen them yet. What would she give me? Yeah, I just want to get to the Pokemon Center. Oh, there you go. I might go... I think I can battle those fishermen. There we go. Yeah, I, I, the out-of-breath thing... I saw him mention that the other day. I, I saw a clip of him bringing that up before. Okay, well, I can't buy all these guys. Perfect. The thing with him, though, like, you think about it, it's like... Yeah, he's, like, super famous now. And, like, he's... I mean, surely he's at the point now to where he's, like, set, right? Yo! First raid! Thank you for uh, subscribing. I, I apologize. I didn't even notice the, the thing went off. I'll, let me, let's run that back. First raid! Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Yo, and Galaxy Eater! Thank you for subscribing as well. I missed all the noties. I'm not even paying attention. Yo, first raid and Galaxy Eater. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Back to what I was saying with Sulek, though. Like, he's at the, like, I don't know. How many views do, does he get on the video, actually? Because, like, with him, he's got, like, those deals where it's, like, um, he has, uh, like, his own, like, the supplement stuff. And so, like, every sale that is made with his code or whatever, I assume he makes money on. He's got three million subs. Goes daily, right? Oh, dang. His videos aren't getting as many views as I thought. It's like in the 200, 300,000 range. Some pop off and get like 400,000. This were He was getting like a million plus every video, I thought, not that long ago. Yeah, like 3 million. This was like last fall when he was blowing up. Yeah, he has the um, an athlete code right there. I think he's actually I don't know Ooh, water pulse I was gonna say I thought I was gonna be say like he's set like I don't know how much he um yo EJ Sanchez thank you for tuning in I appreciate it I was gonna say he's probably set for life but I I, th I was thinking his videos were still getting um sorry 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 uh, I was thinking his videos were still getting like uh 
well over a million views a day. Like, for those who remember Roman Atwood, dude, he had, like, one of the craziest primes ever on YouTube. He had his vlogs there where he was pulling, what, two to three million views every single day? That's insane. Yo, Jacket, thank you for tuning in. Like, that's crazy. I don't watch him anymore. I don't even know if he makes stuff anymore. I don't really have very many YouTubers I watch anymore now to think of it. Mainly, I just watch streamers now. Like, I watch Queso. I don't watch Tim that much right now. I go through phases of watching Tim. Tim the Tatman. I like watching him play Fortnite. But he's not playing Fortnite right now. Guys, does this guy just have six Magikarps? What emulator are you playing? I'm playing Pokey MMO. It's uh, the game with all the Pokemon games in one. Last... Thursday, was it, right? Yeah, last Thursday, we beat the Elite Four in black and white, or in Unova. Then last Friday, we beat the Elite Four in Hoenn. And then yesterday, on Monday, we started our journey here in Sinnoh. And here we are going through Sinnoh. Found these Magikarps for XP. Actually, how much XP do I even get from this? Is this even worth? Will you grind for shinies? I was thinking about that the other day. Honestly, I kind of think I'd want to get a legendary first. I think I want to try to go get a legendary first before I go grind for a shiny. But it would be cool to get a shiny in this, to find a shiny. I think that'd be fun. It'll be a while, though. I've never done a shiny hunt in a game like this, where there's non-open world spawns. The only shiny hunts I've done are in, I mean, Scarlet and Violet. I mean, in Legends Arceus, we didn't even shiny hunt. We just found the shinies. And then the only shiny I found in a game that... Oh, wait, no, what are... Is that game open world spawns? Well, technically, no. It, so it's, um... No, it actually, so it's kind of the hybrid of the underground in uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. I got a shiny vaults in there. Shinies are 130k. Jesus. Oh, wait, I'm out of Aerial Ace. I've used all 20. All right, we're going to the Pokemon Center after this. I'm not battling every Magikarp. That's all these guys seem to have. I'm good on the Magikarp battles. You'll get a shiny while looking for a legendary. See, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. That would be sick. While looking for a legendary, we find a shiny. I want to go get Articuno, I think, as the first one. Wait, where'd I get that egg from? Where'd that egg come from? Wait, what? Chansey Egg. Change the turn. Oh, did that lady give it to me? That lady might have given it to me. Yeah, is there a gym here? Oh, here comes Barry. What, did you want to battle? Oh, he's taking me to something. Oh, we're already at this thing? The statue? I didn't know this was so early in the game. I thought this was later.
This thing right here is insane. This right here is one of the craziest things in Pokemon. The legendary Pokemon statue in Eterna City in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Platinum in Sinnoh. What Pokemon is that? Is it Palkia? Is it Dialga? I can see both. It depends on how you look at it. If you look at it with the front legs being in the front and those back legs being in the back, it's Dialga. But in the same time, if you look at it, imagine if those back legs are like hands up like this and the front legs are on the ground, it's Palkia. Both of them have something on their back like that. They got this optical illusion here over in Sinnoh. I can't even tell what legendary this is. Yeah, exactly. It looks like Palkia and Dialga at the same time. It's breaking my brain. This thing's crazy, dude. This is one of the coolest things Pokemon's ever done. This is insane. An artist's attempt to make a statue of a god. Dude, it's both of them. It's literally both of them. I legit see... I, I can see both of them. It's the legs is the key for me. That's crazy. Arceus Fool? Statue? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, look at it. You got the, the bat. Like, the legs are the key part. So you look at this thing. The legs are the key part here. So, if you, so the, the legs that are higher up on the screen... If you imagine those as being the back legs, it looks like Dialga. If you imagine those as being arms, it's Palkia. That's so cool. It's literally both of them. That's awesome. Oh, wait, can I get a bike here? Wait. Oh, wait, I mean, Eternal City. I can get a bike somewhere here. Where's the bike store? It's Cynthia! Hello, Poke Playa. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. We know who you are, Cynthia. You kicked our teeth in in uh, Undela Town. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here, here in Eternal City, there is a statue of ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? Yes, I have. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. She gave me cut. Do we have cut on Tropius already? Thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate it. We saw Cynthia, the champion. We saw Cynthia, and she talked to us. All right, this, this has to be the bike store, right? Yes, it is. Hey, buddy, can I take a bike? We went to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. Which is the Team Galactic build? Oh, is that the one I have to use? Do you have to use cut on it to get in here? Team Galactic Eterna building. We want your Pokemon. What kind of thing is that to put on the front? Oh my god, I gotta go grab someone that has cut. So none of our guys have cut yet. Oh, wait, does Zigzagoon have cut? It does. It has cut and rock smash. We don't have the required badge. Is there a gym here? 
other is. All right, Torkoal, this is your time to shine. The grass gym. You gotta run through this gym, Torkoal. Are you ready? Looks like give me something. Wait, is that one of the trainers? Oh, it is. Wait, why didn't she automatically battle me? Why well, have to click on her? I thought they normally just auto battle you. Yo, this is Torkoal's time to shine! Oh, Torkoal's got two super effective moves. And then Piplup actually has Aerial Ace, so that's a super effective move as well. We're kind of set for this gym. Despite having a starter that would be weak to it. A lot of HP back right there. There we go. Get a drought torkoal instead of white smoke. Really? I kind of like the white smoke one. Because there's so many times where my stats would get lower than they haven't been. I did forget the other move is Drought, though. Drought is a good move. Or ability. I'm trying to think. I don't really have anyone else that would be beneficial for Drought, though. this gym being like this at all. Look, that guy's pulling up with a Typhlosion! Yes, let me go grab Torkoal. I have a Torkoal. Let me go grab Torkoal! We need you for the gym. If I put him right here, will you be able to see him on the screen? Can you see Torkoal? Can you see him on the screen? Look at him! Torkoal's ready for the gym. He's ready to go. He's locked in and ready to take on the gym. Yo! Puffton! Thank you so much for tuning in and for the three month membership i appreciate it three months i think you got the longest one thank you so much that's crazy that time flies for real thank you so much puffton i appreciate that hope all is well he's tiny it's the perfect size yeah this torkoal's just a little guy yeah he's just little over here when you pet him you just use your finger you don't need a whole hand he's little he's like murph he's little Murphy tried to play with Torkoal one time. Torkoal didn't like Murphy playing with him because Murphy was trying to throw him around. Like, Murphy was going to rip Torkoal. Look, Torkoal's on 4 HP clutching up to get... Oh, wait, no, he's about to... Damn. Let's go fire spin. Oh, my God. I should have healed. Why don't I heal? I'm acting like I, I don't have enough... XP... Or, uh, money to afford stuff. I need to just start healing up when when needed. There he is. I need to just start healing up when need when necessary. Rather than just letting my guys die. God, if only Printplup was a steel type already, that'd be cracked. 
going into this gym. You know what would be sick? A life-size Torkoal plush. This one right here is just little. A life-size one would be insane. We used to go, um, we had a relative that we would go visit. Excuse me. And when they would, we would go visit them, they lived by this, oh, wait, I gotta heal up. Siri, now is not the time. When we would visit them, we would always go to this cool, z it was like, not like a, a zoo. It was more so like this nature place. They had animals inside. Yo, and Pokemon Jory, thank you for tuning in. So you'd go to this place, and there was this just massive forest they had. And there was, like, all these trails and paths and big, massive bridges you could go on, dude. It was crazy. I have a picture of me and my siblings on the end of this bridge. Dude, you're like... Oh, God. I don't know how high up. Maybe 150 yards up in the air. Maybe more. Maybe 200 yards up in the air. I don't know how many feet it would be. Like, in my head, I'm just trying to remember back to it. I, I'm trying to think, like, the span of, like, a football field. Now, I might have been, like, you, you might have been, like, 200 yards up in the air. Walking all the way out on the edge of this bridge. This bridge was, like... The bridge itself was probably, like, 25, 30 yards... No, probably, like, 30 yards long. And you just walk all the way out there. And it's just, you just look out. And it's like you're in the middle of like a rainforest or something that, like that. Just look out like you'd see in Tarzan or something like that. But instead, we're just in... Man, which move do I pick? Let's go Bubble Beam. Does more damage. Um, And you just look out. It looked like out of like Avatar. Like something like that. It was insane. They had all these paths and stuff in there. I remember the biggest trees I've ever seen. Not like those trees like out in like, uh, not like the ones out in California, the sequoias. The, it wasn't those, but massive trees, man. Can't, let me heal up, uh, our boy Torkoal. Am I out of revives? How come I can never find revives? Am I blind? Wait, I got a medium XP candy? When I get that. But the uh these trees, dude, were massive, man. They were like hundreds of years old. Super tall. And like, dude, they were like legit as wide as like the room I'm in. Like, no joke, the trunk of the tree might have been as wide as my room. It was insane. Uh, like, and, like, there was one in, per like, the biggest one was, like, right, like, so you walk up to this place, and it's, like, kind of at the top of a hill. Like, it's not like you're, or I should say, it's, like, you walk up to the place, and it's, like, this indoor, like, building and stuff where they have all kinds of, like, animals and stuff in there. Then behind it's, like, the trails and everything like that. And the trails, like, initially go downhill just behind the building. <coughs> Sorry. And the right behind the building, back left of it, was the biggest tree. It was just insane, man. It was crazy. Why am I talking about this stuff? Oh, at this place, though, in the building, they had a bunch of animals and stuff. Mainly reptiles inside. Like, they had this really cool thing where you could see, like, the, uh, they had, like, honeybees on this thing in this exhibit in there and you could i remember one time we were there you could see the queen bee and all that stuff it was super cool they have all these different snakes and lizards and turtles and stuff there was a soft shell turtle in there that thing was really cool but out front one time when we were there it was when we were there during the summer out front there was this just massive turtle man they just had this thing in like this little like box thing clothes like it was just like a maybe five yards by five yards this area out front of the place actually now i think of it, it might not even have been fenced off the turtle might have just been sitting out in the front there if they was, they might have had like a couple of like two by four sitting up just to like make a section for it to be in where it's like they didn't want people that were there to walk in but dude this turtle like its shell was legit like this wide and like this long man 
Oh, no, it may be even bigger. But, like, the, the size, like, that, the, the height from, like, bottom of the shell... It was, like, that big, maybe? Because, like, the, the shell looked, like, almost like a pyramid. It, like, had a peak. It was massive, man. It was so cool. They let us touch it and all that stuff. Wait, how do I go back? Oh, no, wait, no, I have enough stuff to heal up with, actually. It was so cool. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a life-size Torkoal plush would probably be similar size to that turtle that I saw. So I'd be all in for a life-size Torkoal plush. I already got a life-size Rowlet and Gibble. Now we need a Torkoal. And speaking of Torkoal, Torkoal, now's your time to shine. You ready? You kept me waiting. Shut up, gym leader. I'm, I got here when I got here. Here we go. Wait, why does he have a fully evolved Pokemon? This is the second gym leader. Grass knot. Torkoal, come on! Torkoal! Let's go! Torkoal, I was hoping you'd do a bit more damage there. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, that's very effective. That is pretty effective. That's doing a decent amount of damage to me. I gotta heal up. I'm gonna die. Heal up, Torkoal. We have to give him a hyper potion. Torkoal, take the hyper potion. There. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with another one to take it out. We eat that and then we take it out. It dodged it! Grass knot. Oh. It got a crit on Torkoal! Torkoal, no! Beldum. Beldum. Actually, Beldum's perfect for this. Oh, she took her out! What a rat! Wait, level 20? Why are they such high level? I think we lost. I think I lost. But Beldum just does no. Beldum's useless. Beldum, you've got to do more damage than this. Beldum just does no damage. Wait, Tropius just killed itself. Tropius just came out and killed itself instantly. Do you see that? Well, we lost that. Get a turtle at 20k subscribers. Is, is that what that say? It says? Oh, 2k subscribers? Oh, no. I ain't getting turtle. No. We had a pet turtles before. Those things were such a pain to deal with. No. They smelled so bad. The tank smelled bad. They were such a pain. We had, it was two turtles. My painted turtles? I don't know what they were actually. We got them from a neighbor who didn't want them either. They were moving and we're like, yeah, sure, we'll take them. So we had these two turtles for a little bit. And eventually, I we had to get rid of them. 
Just because it, it was just, dude, the maintenance for taking care of him was just too much. You could do so much stuff for him. And it smelled bad, too. Like, the room we had him in, like, every so often you go in there, and it's still, like, low-key kind of smells like the turtles. It's, they were just, uh, too much. But the thing is, when we got rid of them, so I listed them on, um, I think it was, ooh. What did I list them on? I think it was Facebook Marketplace. I listed them for sale. And apparently you're not, not allowed to list animals for sale on it. So the listing got taken down like right away. But thankfully, there was some lady that reached out to me. He's like, hey, we take stuff like this. Like people that have these kind of animals that don't want them anymore. We like take them in for like this like exhibit type place they had. And thankfully the lady took them. That, Cause like the, so the listing got taken down, but I remembered the lady's name, tried to look her up, and then I found her, messaged her, and was able to get rid of the turtles. But we had them before. We had them before, and I ain't getting more. 2K subs, we're not getting turtles. Can't confirm. I'll maybe find a life-size Torkoal plush. I'll buy that. I ain't getting no pet turtles though. Mm -mm. Recently had rabbits. They stink and needed cages closed all the time. Rabbits are horrible. They poop everywhere. Yeah, like the the only like pets that it seems like are like manageable are just like cats and dogs. Anything else, it seems like it's all this extra work. Maybe birds. Our fish aren't that bad either. Well, I guess you have to deal with the tank and all that stuff. Birds are cool though. I saw this one lady. She had, I think there was some guy over doing work. I don't know if it was a plumber or what, but... They were, the lady was in her kitchen and she's filming and the plumber dude's there working. Oh wait, the egg's hatching. What is this? This is Chansey, right? Yeah, Chansey egg. And so the, the guy's in there working and this thing starts like barking from the other room and comes walking in and she's like, oh yeah, sorry about them. They'll bark for a little bit. He's like, oh, it's fine. I like dogs. And she's like, oh, it's not a dog. And she turns the camera and it's a parrot walking on the ground. I'm like, what? This lady had a parrot just walking around the house. And then it, it, it was so funny, dude. I love seeing, I, I follow like these pages on Instagram of the, they have these like birds and stuff and the birds like looking at him like this. And then it hopped up on the counter was like looking down at him. It was like real interested in what he was doing. It was so funny. All right, but back to the thing we were doing. Um... Dude should do a podcast. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do a podcast. Because the podcast, you're sitting there talking. I like talking over this. Over something like this. These personalities worryingly entertaining. I don't know if that's a good thing or... <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? Now, I just like talking. And we, we don't need Chansey anymore. Sorry, Chansey. I'm putting you into here. You will probably never be used. Um, these are all are, I can't pull up with like superior or something like that. Should we just level up Torkoal? You know what? How much XP does this give? Let's give the medium XP candy to Beldum. Did Beldum evolve? Well, that was Beldum. 19. Like, I'm sorry. I'm evolving Beldum. Beldum is literally... Oh, wait. This is a large one. The one I had was a medium. I should have given it the large. I thought these were... um. I thought these ones right here were small for a second. I built this one level up off from evolving. Let's go evolve Beldum. Let's go evolve Beldum. Let's go evolve Beldum right now. Because, um... Oh, my finger. 1,300 XP. Oh, God. How much do we get from... How much do you think I'll get from battling over here? Maybe a wild Pokemon. Look at that person. They got a Suicune head on a bike. That's sick. You're so underrated. He really is. I appreciate that, you guys. Yo, thank you so much. That means a lot. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate all you guys that tune in. Just chilling, hanging out. This game's so much fun, too. I love playing this game, man. Dude, I wish... I need to get a guy with a priority move. That's one thing we don't have that I kind of wish we did have. A priority move. Priority moves are very helpful. Oh, God, I just dropped my phone. So I had a notification. I went to look what it was. And then I go set it back down. It just falls off. All right, there we go. 150 XP. Oh, God, 150. Dude, I should challenge, like, a cracked-looking person to a battle one time. I should go up to, like, the baddest-looking dude there is and challenge them to a battle one day. See what happens. We had that one guy challenge us in, um in Unova, and we beat them. We beat them because of Contrary Superior. They had that Eevee they were setting up Rain Dance Baton Pass with to my low tick. Superior swept the floor with them. No chance. Even though I'm pretty sure my low tick has a lot of special attack. Or special defense, sorry. And Superior is a special attacker. 84. All right, I'm going to go battle the Fisher Trainers then. Oh, wait, I can claim that down there. What do you think this is? Guard spec. Excuse me. I don't even know what that is. All right. Let's go. There's We battled the first two. I should be able to battle these two guys here. Hopefully, we'll get at least enough XP to evolve Beldum to Matang. That was kind of a sick Pokeball he had. Did you see that? All right, Beldum. Let's go. Me need you to evolve. Because right now, you're useless. Sorry, I sneezed. Alright. This is just the most boring battles you could imagine. Just throwing tackle with Beldum like this. Dude, I, I'm confused. Beldum's con... Beldum's confused? Isn't even doing enough damage to take Goldeen down. Prince Pluff, get out. Beldum is just... This is rough. I mean, like, getting Dino to, like, or, like, Swellios to level 50-something to evolve it, that's rough. Beldum, though, can't... I have two moves! We got that Beldum, though, from Steven Stone. So it's meaningful. Sentimental, you could say. I thought I'd be able to battle this last one, too. Sorry to blow my nose. I, I had the window open last night when I was sleeping. And, um... It's, like, getting warm out. And I knew... It, it always happens. The first morning, I'm, I always have a stuffy nose when I have the window open. I can heal up. Dude, this gym leader kind of has a good team. She's got a Roserade, a like level, what, 20 something Turtwig, and then what was the other one? Some other grass thing. But the Roserade's OP. A Roselia I could handle. The evolved one is kind of rough. We need to, we need to evolve Beldum, though. 847 XP. Ugh, what is that? That's like 16 wild Pokemon. And I don't even think I one tap them. Let's see if I can one tap the dude here. Let's see how this works out. Oh, you know what? Maybe takedown will do more. Like, look, I can't even one-tap them. And 
I get paralyzed by a wild Badoo. Oh, wait, that was 127. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, we might actually be able to do this over here. Let's stay over here, then. If we get 100 per guy, that'll be, like, 120 like that. It'll only take, like, 7, probably. break did i break the game it's nothing's happening i think the game froze give me a second ah, my finger my finger There we go. Got it fixed. Got it fixed. Uh, there we go. All fixed. All fixed. But Beldum took being paralyzed and can't move to a different level right there. It froze the whole game. The paralysis legit froze the entire game. Look, you see how stupid this is. I want to battle something, and look, there's absolutely nothing. Ooh, an evolved Pokemon. I'll probably get a bit more XP from this one. I think I'll get a little bit more XP from this one. Oh, it's retarded. If I be, if I can take it. Oh, good lord. I just heard something. There's a bug in here. I was just talking about the stink bugs. I just heard one. Do I got that heightened hearing? I got like super hearing. I swear. Because th they're so stupid. They like, fly into the wall and like hit the ground. I felt him take this thing out. I felt him took it out. By the window. I think there's one in here. Dude, if there's ever one on this screen where you can see in the background, I'm pulling out. I got the nerfs. Uh, the nerf. What is it? It's my little brothers. The Fortnite silenced pistol. I pick those things off with that. I was telling them, like, you guys gotta, you guys gotta get like the biggest, baddest. Fortnite guns they make. Do they make the heavy sniper as a Fortnite nerf gun? That's sick. I don't think they make the star. I swear I heard it. No. I don't see one. I thought I heard it. I don't know if you guys can hear me right now. You might not be able to. Is the mic picking me up from all the way over there? It's picking me up from here. I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. All right. How many have we done now? Three? We've done three things, I'm pretty sure. Beldum, like, come on. You don't need to be paralyzed forever. Getting taken out by a Bidoof? Do if you can survive. Dodging the attacks gets a crit on Beldum. Then we gotta go heal Beldum up. Dude, Beldum, this is the worst Pokemon I've ever used. This thing better be cracked when I evolve it. Because right now, he sucks. Tackle and takedown. How much damage does takedown even do compared to tackle? Wait, takedown does 90? What's my attack stat? 15? 29. Alright, we just need to evolve Beldum. For anyone tuning in, we're trying to evolve Beldum. Because once we evolve Beldum, we'll have Matang. And it'll be usable in the gym. Because right now, Beldum, I think, is uh, unusable in this next gym battle. We 
because all we have is tackle and take them. It better, like, when do I get Meteor Mash or something like that? London is a brutal place for an American. London not like Americans? One more, take it out. I've never been outside of the country. I've never traveled outside of the U.S. We, like, the furthest I think I've really traveled was probably when I was just in Arizona. And you guys saw me there. We were streaming there. That was fun, streaming out there. We didn't find a halucha, though. Which I will note was one of the main reasons I agreed to go. I'm not big on traveling and stuff. And I was like, alright, I'll go to this. Because I'm like, there's a chance I could get one of my favorite Pokemon ever in Pokemon Go. Wasn't able to though, didn't find him. So now I just have to wait until either he's available in raids, or maybe to make him in eggs for some event. Or, I mean, maybe to make him at a GoFest. Or just, we have to wait till... What, it'll, what will it be? Kalos Tour, which isn't for not next 2025, it'll be 2026. That's a long time. You know what I want right now, though? When's Buggy gonna be in the game? Oh my god, I forgot. I don't know if I said this yesterday. I saw on Instagram someone made a fan art of Buggy the Clown from One Piece with Blacephalon. Perfect. Like I said, it's buggy. Although I will note they didn't have the shiny Blacephalon. I think you should do it with the shiny one, because for those that don't know, shiny Blacephalon's blue, buggy D clown from One Piece. His hair is blue, so it fits perfectly. Oh, my bomb the second one's gonna kill me, isn't it? Run 2 HP. Fight tackle. Ah, it's so close. Is it just gonna keep spamming hard and I'm just gonna keep doing it in half and I'm just gonna go forever until it's half, 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 and then we never get it? That's crazy thing. I'm just cutting it in half again and again and again. You, it would go on for infinite. So you're doing half. There's You're always, whatever you have is cutting in half. So it's just smaller, sm like it, it goes on e eternally. Stuff like that's crazy. Like the number pi. It just goes forever. It just goes. It doesn't end. Alright. If I beat this weasel, I'll evolve. Yeah, Weasel, good job using Water Spout. How about you keep spamming that? That does absolutely nothing. Okay, I should evolve from this. I should evolve. That guy's got an Aerodactyl. Looks so cool. Going to level 20. Belzer's evolving! Let's go! Finally! Belzer's evolving to Matang! Matang, please learn some move. Matang, I'm begging you. Please learn a move. Because right now... We have no useful moves on Beldum. What level does Matang learn something?
I should have just learned Metal Claw. Or did it just automatically learn it because I had open slots? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, it did learn moves because, I yeah, it, it just had open slots. 50 damage. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Actually, is Metagross a physical or special attacker now that I think of it? Physical. It is physical. That's what I thought. I had to check, though. Yeah, because I use Earth... Actually, who am I kidding? I use Earthquake on it. There we go. We've Matang we have Matang now for the gym. Let's go heal up, and then we're going to head back to the gym. You know what? I should actually buy some stuff, right? Because I'm using Hyper Potions on my guys that only have 40 HP. That's kind of a waste. <laughs> Wait, is there nowhere to buy stuff in this town? You gotta be kidding me. The one time I go to buy stuff is in a town that doesn't have a place that sells stuff. Oh, Lord. Say it ain't so! Oh, no, I saw one down there. I saw one down there. I saw one down bottom. There it is. The store... Hello there! Can I please buy some potions? Actually, not just potions. Super potions! Then do you happen to sell revives? You do not. Great. Okay. Um, I'm not selling my stuff to you guys if you don't have revives. No, I'm not selling you guys my good stuff because you won't give me revives. To the next place! The gym! How do you get to that Pokeball? Do you see that? How do you get there? Is that a troll? Did they put that just there? Just you'll never get. The oh wait, no, wait, whoa. Never mind. Oh, it didn't even look like you could run through there. Oh, wow. That's kind of sneaky. Time for the rematch. We're not holding back. Here we go. What's her name? Gardenia? Is that it? Gardenia? Alright. You swapped out against me before, lady, so I'm I'm doing some swaps against you. I'm saving Matang for your Roserade. That's gonna do absolutely no damage to me. Yeah, throw grass out on Torkoal. Yeah, not very Oh wait, that kinda did a lot. They're trapped in the fiery vortex. We can survive that grass knot. That was scary. We can take... We'll take it out on this turn, I think. No, it's not. I'm healing. Hopefully, the fire vortex spin is enough to take it out. Please, please, please go down. Please go down this turn. Let's go! Alright, great start, great start. Roserade's out. We're, 
No, I want to swap to Matang. Swap to Matang. Rose Raid's out. Matang resists and is immune to Rose Raid's two types. Wait, what's Weather Ball? Okay, good. Not that much. Oh, wait, Confusion super effective. Oh my gosh. Not very effective. That kind of did a lot of damage from it being not very effective. Oh my God, Rose Raid's confused. I'm healing up Matang again. Heal up Matang. Or not healing up Matang again. Healing up again. And this time on Matang. Okay, we can eat another one of those. It's confused. Please hurt yourself. Crit and took me out. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, we would have had him. Let's go print club. I want to save Torkoal for the Turtwig at the end. Snapped out of its confusion. You've got to be kidding me. We can get Aerial Ace off, though. A berry weaken the damage? That's cheating! I didn't mean to send Tropius out. Tropius just jumps headfirst off a building right away. Alright, we're sending out Zigzagoon to heal up Torkoal to get Torkoal up to full HP. Heal up Torkoal. Weather Ball is going to take out Zigzagoon. Torkoal. Now is the time. We need you to clutch up, Torkoal. It is now or never. All your allies are dead. It is up to you. We're going to take it out. It's going down right here. Oh, it dodged. My last heal I can do. Heal up Torkoal right here. Rose Raider gets hurt and gets taken out. 100 XP? Let's go, Torkoal! <gasps> Flame Wheel. Let's do Flame Wheel. It does way more damage. And it's 100 accuracy. Fire Spin's 85 accuracy. Wait, what? I thought she had a Tur Twig! What does she have a grottle? Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. <gasps> survive, Torkoal. Torkoal, survive! Flame wheel! Torkoal got him! Let's go, Torkoal! Torkoal with the clutch! Let's go! Oh my gosh! I thought we were gonna lose there. Let's go, Torkoal. Let's go. The forest badge from the Garden Lady. Why isn't it the Garden Badge? Her name's Gardenia. <sighs> Let's go. We beat him. Her. Sorry. Thank you, Torkoal. Thank you. Well, now we just go out and get killed. Is she sacrificing me to the helicopter leaf blade thing over here? I can't move. Oh, there we go. It's spinning back. Oh, there we go. Give me a nice path all the way across. I thought she was trying to cut my legs off right there with that thing. <sighs> all right. Now to the Pokemon Center. To obviously heal up. Yes, please. Heal up my Pokemon Nurse Joy. I appreciate it. 
All right, now... Wait, I already have... Okay, I have Zigzagoon. Okay, good, I can use Cut. And in we go! <sighs> Sorry, Yawnin. Look, he just blew you to the skies right at the entrance. With the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. They don't appear smart. Easy way to tell the stairs apart. Wait, what? They look the exact same! The one that's being guarded, maybe? Oh, double battle. Okay, good. We leave Matang and Printplup. Do I kind of... I'm liking the team right now. Torkoal, Printplup, Matang. I like everybody on the team. I mean, I was dead. Perfect. Got one of them down. Dang, Matang gained 206 XP. Kanashi, thank you for tuning in. What city am I on? We just got to the... Oh, no. Sorry, I should, should say. We just beat the second gym. I apologize. I don't know the name of the place. The second gym, though, in Sinnoh. Ooh, Primplup did a decent amount right there. But it's poison. I hate poison. There's Zubat's down. We're doing the Zubat training in Pokey MMO. Shadow Reversal. Doing the Zubat training in Pokemon Go. Throwing excellent throws on Zubat's. That's insane. We're going to kill Primplup. Oh my god, it survived! Let's go! Alright, use the antidote on Printplop. And then we'll use the uh, one of these super potions we got on Printplop as well. And we're good to go. So I went the wrong way. I did want to battle them, though, for the XP. I'm just battling them all to get XP because these battles give way more than just the wild Pokemon. Ooh, Krogunk. I like Krogunk. Do we get one for the team? Poison fighting. You have a 300 XP. That's huge. Will that guy battle me, you think? Well, that's Looker. He does have a good disguise, I forgot! Oh yeah, the cycle shop guy's here, so if I- Actually, no, we want to save the day here, because we'll get the new bicycle! Go get a Krogunk. So I'm just I'm trying to think what else do we use for the team here? We only have one Sinnoh Pokemon. I would like a Toxic Croak. That'd be sick. I love Krogunk. 
Krogunk's a massive W of a Pokemon. I got Gangsta Crow in uh, Pokemon Go, the shiny one. He's got the backwards hat on. Avoided Metal Claw. Does Metal Claw not have 100% accuracy? I love the animation of the claw attacks. Dragon Claw, Metal Claw. I think they're so cool. Fake out. Oh, I remembered. I, I almost forgot. I remembered this Sunday afternoon to get the the um the iron hands and the mystery gift. I got them. That's a cracked one. It's Terra Water and it's got Assault Vest and then it has the build of uh Wild Charge or Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Volt Switch, Fake Out. I personally like running Detect with Leftovers because it just makes it so I can survive so much longer. Because you can do the Drain Punch, heal up there, and then you can protect with the Detect, and you gain more HP back with Leftovers. I just prefer... I, I like that one. I do, And I do Terra uh, Grass instead of Terra Water. But I like having that one, too, to, to uh, change it up. Wait, I thought that was the guy I was going to save. And it's some scientist that wants to throw hands from Team Galactic. Sends out a Kadabra. Pfft, not going to be able to evolve it, buddy, because no one will trade with you, huh? It is power. How do you know what hidden what type the hidden power is? Will it tell you? I've never paid attention when actually no, no when Superior uses it actually, I think it's the screen turns red. Heal up a tank. So I don't die. Metal claw. Attack off. Let me get a single attack off. Thank you. There we go. Cadaver's down. Cadaver's down. Six hunch! I don't think I evolved though to level like 46 or something like that. Wait, I'm gonna go up the other staircase and get those Pokeballs, can't I? Wait, there's two of them side by side. Do I get to pick a Pokemon? Who are these? Oh, Blue Shard. This room's pretty cool, actually, I will note. Ready? Oh, I can't run in from there. Oh. Booker, you said there was a trap. It Was the trap just battling the random people? Or the Team Galactic members? There we go. I have come to save the day! Oh, wait, no, I have to go to her. I'm here to stop you! Alright, here we go. What's her name? Jupiter. Well, I don't remember. Does she, ha does she have someone based on her in... In Hisui? I don't remember. Alright, she's got Stun Tank, which I believe is a Poison type, right? So we're immune. Jeez, I don't think I have an item. Alright, it outspeeds. And does more damage than us. I hate how this Pokemon looks. I hate this thing. Skun Tank. She's 
swapped it out. Shellos. Okay, oh. we gotta get Torkoal out of here. Torkoal's weak to both pipes. Is this thing groundwater? He will. Nonetheless, he's weak to ground and water, so get Torkoal out of there. Water pulse, okay, that's fine. Crinpluff can take a water pulse. Aerial Ace. It has recover. How much PP does recover have? Does anyone know? I wonder if it's going to heal up this turn. Oh, you got to use Recover. There we go. Five? Okay. So it should be low on Recovers. This battle's harder than I thought. survive from club <sighs> okay we have matang i have faith in matang over here i think matangs are highest level pokemon right now yeah it is because again tropius is i'm using Trop i'm using tropius no they want to do that i think tropius will listen to me They want to use recover like that? Fine. We'll use the higher level Pokemon. I almost said CP. Yep. Get out of here, Shellos. Yeah, Jupiter, we're just taking you out with Tropius. Let's go, Tropius. It's Tropius' time to shine. Tropius has been just on the team. We've been just using it for HMs. Tropius wants to throw hands right now, and it's pissed off. So it's taking you out, Jupiter. Acid spray. Congrats, Jupiter. You got a single attack off on Tropius. Oh, you dropped his special defense. Guess what? Tropius is still going to take you out. Yep, you're dead. Guess what? Aftermath didn't even do anything to me. 378, Matang 378. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Matang grew up to 22. Let's go. Leveled up with Matang. Beat the team um, Galactic person. We're good. I almost said Team Magma. So now I believe I have to go back to the bike shop to be able to get the bike, right? I can't go through there. That is clearly an open area right there. How come I can run through the doors or the those trees outside the gym? The, the gym where I went to get that Pokeball that was on the right side of the gym, I can run through the trees there, but I can't run through that area right there. He's cut again. All right, let's go to the Pokemon Center. Let's go heal up. Ooh, that guy's got a Gengar. Smile on my face just like Gengar. Think I'm new to this? Nah, nah. 
Ooh, Dragonair looks cool, too. Look, the middle stage of two pseudos right there. All right, I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom.
back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, sorry. I went, I go to the bathroom and I went, I decided, I was like, I'll just let Murphy out now as well. It's nice outside, man. Went outside, dude. Walked out there with Murphy. I stretched. Murphy stretched. It's like sunny outside. It's, what's the temperature? 56 degrees right now. Man, we're living it up. Nice weather, finally. This says next Thursday is 76. We know Sunday 76 and sunny. Oh my gosh. I love me some nice weather. I talk, I'm gonna move you out of the way right now just because you're kind of inconveniently seated right where I uh, put my arm when I'm moving around with the keys. All right, to the bike shop we go. Cynthia's back. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. I want you to have this Pokemon egg. Oh, <gasps> Cynthia's giving me an egg? That's wonderful. This Pokemon egg is happy too, I'm sure of it. Keep the egg with you and your party Pokemon. The hatch room while we travel. Thank you, Cynthia! What kind of egg do you think it is? Should we check? I have to check. I can't wait. Togepi. Oh, Cynthia, you couldn't give me like a Gar or a Gibble or like a Riolu. Oh. Hey, bike guy, remember I saved you? Oh, you did. This is gonna show my thanks. The latest model of the bicycle. Thank you. You know what? Are you even able to change the gears on the bike in this game? I don't think I've ever done that. Ooh, the game. Wait. Is it just me or is the game kind of like. It looks. Like it. I looks kind of like laggy when I'm biking. Maybe it's just because I'm biking. I'm so fast on the bike. I'm so quick on the bicycle. It makes it look like it lags. Alright, I think we go this way, right? Or the town we are in. Eterna City. So, Celestic Town. We just go right. Alright. Wait, Cynthia went down. Is there even anywhere to go down here? Cynthia, where the heck did you go? Oh, you can't go down. Wait, that's where we came from, though. I don't want to go back where we came from. Go back to where you came from. I'm not going back to where I came from. Oh, we got it right here. Oh, great. More people. Oh, do I have to go through this mountain? I don't even remember. Dude, I don't remember going through the game here. Like, I recognize parts. Like, I recognize this part of the game. I don't know why. I always thought this section right here was, like, way further in the game. I hear the bike. We'll swap to Tropius. I wasn't intending on using Tropius, but we are. Yeah, good job, dummy. Back to my tank. Please don't use dig again so I can just use metal claw and take you out. Rock tomb. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Not very effective. Metal claw. There we go. What if there was some... There's nothing like this, right? There's no ability where when a Pokemon does a stat drop to you, it in reverse does it to them instead. So, for instance, if this ability would make it so if someone uses Intimidate on you, instead of you getting Intimidated, they get Intimidated. Is there an ability like that? That'd be pretty sick, actually. Let's go to Print Pulp for this one. You know, it's probably not a good idea to leave with Matang over here, right? Because everyone's going to be grounding rock types in the cave. So, yeah. Let's put Matang number two and Prinplup number one. And hopefully we'll be able to get Prinplup up to level uh, um, 20 by doing that. Couldn't think of the number after 19. Couldn't think of 20.
I do not need to go to Sto Snow Point City yet. Dude, where'd my gun? Wait, where do I go? Why does this game have to be so confusing? I knew they were going to want to battle me. Alright, only two Pokemon. Not bad. Only two Pokemon. And two flying types. That's what the bird people over here have. We'll just go Bubble Beam, our best move. Most damaging move. I, I don't know why. I was mixing up, I think, Bubble and Bubble Beam earlier. When we were playing yesterday. I had Bubble and I was thinking it was Bubble Beam. Then I today I see Bubble Beam and I was just uh, stun locked. Thinking, wait, what? Didn't I get... Wait, don't I already have this move? Or no, I got rid of it with Water Pulse. You know, I gotta fix Print Pulse moves as well. There's a bird Pokemon that can learn human speech. Shadot. There we go. Is Metal Claw the same move Matang has? It is. So both Matang and Printpuff have Metal Claw. Do I go to Mount Coronet already? No way, right? Maybe there's a way to go down Mount Coronet? No, see, but I, I shouldn't have strength yet. The only reason I have strength is because I got it from Tropius. This game's so confusing. One way you could hate on Unova is that, oh, the map's too basic. But it makes it so, like, it's so easy to play. You, you know exactly where to go. Oh, the next town on the map. Here... I'm going to the next town on the map. It shows there's a path going to the right. I go to the right, and then it sends me all the way up here. Yeah, so I this is the wrong way. Because I, I don't have straight... I was right. I don't have a gym badge to use strength yet. I haven't obtained it yet in the game. Eyelash in my eye, man. Go oh, find Ponita. You won't let me run? You're gonna get killed. You're gonna get killed. Primplup's gonna take you out. Primplup's taking you out, Ponita. I gave you the option to let me run, and now you just got dropped. Now you're laying passed out in the field. Congrats, Ponita. another path over here maybe Yeah, the, so the, the thing there says Dialga and Palkia.
like I said earlier, man. This is one of the coolest things in all of Pokemon. The statue here in Eterna City in Sinnoh. Is it Dialga or Palkia? I think it's both. I genuinely think it's both of them. Because you look at it, the front legs could be the front legs of Dialga and the back legs are the back legs of Dialga. Or the front legs could be the two legs Palkia stands on and the back legs are the, actually the arms of Palkia. It looks like it could be both. Which is it? I have no idea. What do you guys think? What do you think it is? I'm going to make this a short. What? Which legendary Pokemon do you think it is? Dialga or Palkia? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to post that on YouTube. See if anyone knows. Because I have no idea. I think it is supposed to... I, I think it is supposed to be both. I don't think it's meant to be one or the other. I do think it's meant to be a combination of both of them. Which is so sick. That's so cool that they would do that. Add that into the game. Am I going slower on the bike? Oh, I was. Oh, yeah, there's a fast mode and a slow mode. Oh, that's pretty sick. I should have to go down in this way then? All right. What, what Pokemon is that guy? Scizor. Scizor is kind of sick. Oh, we already have a Steel type, though. We'll have Metagross. Maybe when we go play Johto. Silver Powder. Dude, I, my, I was tripping out right there. I'm like, I'm, I'm moving slower, right? I didn't realize there was the two modes on the bike. So this is kind of nice with Cut. We got, like, this shortcut over here. Using Cut to go through the shortcut of Return to Forest. Wait, I went the complete wrong way. Oh, Lord. Can I use Fly yet? No. The Rose Raid sprite kind of looks pretty cool. I will note. I will note that. Gotta be kidding me. First patch of grass I go into. Didn't get the opportunity to go to the left and then go down the jump thing there. The Aroma Lady again. The ones that try to take me out with whatever smells they have on today. Yesterday at the pool, there was thankfully nothing. No one with some crazy strong smelling stuff that's going to make me pass out. Dude, I'm telling you, I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh my god. For those that don't know, I was at the pool the other day. And the pool I swim in is like this enclosed big indoor pool. Not big, big indoor pool. It's got like, you have the lap pool at 25 yards. And then there's like a separate other pool that's like a bit smaller off the side. They're in the same like area though. But inside there's like the two distinct areas of it. The same enclosure I should say. And there's always like these little kids with like these uh, swim lessons and stuff over in the other pool. The smaller pool. And there was some mom that came in, I'm pretty sure, that had some, she had some perfume on. Oh my god, dude, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't even breathe with whatever she was wearing. I could, like, taste it. Ugh. Like, when I breathed in, it, like, the, ugh, it was gross. So I've been to that Orberg City. How do I get there, though? I have no idea what to do. Why is Sinnoh so confused? Oh, you probably swim across to get over there, don't you? 
Wait, no, there's a yeah, there's a root actually. No, no, I'm I'm right, I'm right. This might not be the way to go, but it's a way to go. Okay, now we have to go right. Yeah, because we needed a bike. Okay. All right, we got it, we got it. Yeah, we haven't been over here yet. Uncharted territory. All right, here we go. We found it. We figured it out. We're back on the story. Back on the path. So you gotta go... That's dumb. You gotta go all the way back like that. Wait, why isn't Printplup leading? I thought I had Printplup in first. Whatever. I guess Matang's leading now. Matang will lead the party. Matang will lead the charge here to the next town. I mean, as long as these guys don't use... Dead. All right, start to print flop. One thing that might be an issue is there is a ground elite four member. Now that I do remember, the first one is ground. And we have water, but the, the Empoleon is weak to ground. Or is it just neutral? Because I'm part water. It might be neutral. I have no idea. Don't ask me about tight matchups. I'm not very good with them. Oh, this is on um, a tank. I'm like, who is this? Let's go to takedown. Yeah. Go to takedown, get pursuit. There we go. Some more coverage. Dark move now. Vincent, how Geo dude. Of course, it's got sturdy, man. Sturdy's so annoying. I'll just heal up then using dig. I mean, sturdy than dig, like, it doesn't get much more annoying than this. It's like it's trying to annoy me. There you go. I thought the move missed for a second. Thank God it hit. Now watch, he's going to have an Onyx with Sturdy. Oh, there we go, at level 20, exactly what we wanted. One of the Geodude. Please don't have Sturdy. Please don't have Sturdy. Oh, let's go, we took it out. Perfect. 153 XP, 153 XP. Okay, we found a revive. That's decent. I was trying to buy one, but it wouldn't let me buy one, so I'm fine with finding one. I'll bet I want to battle this guy too. Want to battle everyone we can, as much XP as we can, because we it, when we avoid the battles, we get in the gym under leveled. By doing all the battles here, it ensures that we will be. Of proper levels for the gym battle. Heal back up, because, like I said. I'm not not healing now. It's not like we're pokey poor in this game. We've got it like that in this game. We got 321,000 pokey dollars. We've got it like that. We can afford to heal up when needed in these random battles. Gliger's down after a little while. I got an attack. Sonic Boom? A crit, let's go! Wait, is that move a special or physical attack? I don't even know. 
Let's throw it again. It's stab. Ugh, they got a crit. I, this might be the closest our guys have been to eat to their... Uh, the closest levels our guys have been to each other. We have 20, 20, and 23. Normally we have like 24, 18, and like 8. Everyone's of the same level right now. Because we are balancing the use of each one, I feel. Well, good thing we got that revive. There we go. I was looking for the fresh water. I'm like, I know I have another one. Machop. Fighting super effect can steal, right? Yeah. I have a tank. You're getting out of there. Oh, we'll go print plop. Let's go print plop for this. Because it's got flying. Flying super effective against fighting. I know that because of my boy Pidgeot in Go Battle League. Oh, he's Thunder Punch, though. 5 HP. Oh my god, let's take it out. Holy crap. Swap to Tropius. Let's just use Tropius here. Or actually, if it survived. Oh yeah, wait, because Tropius Park Grass, so it it's neutral. I mean, is Tropius part of the Sinnoh team? Should we just start using him? Flash its focus band. Why does it show me what item it has? Tropius, good job. Good job, Tropius. Looks, Tropius looks cool following me, too. Oh, I didn't want to get off my bike. God. Dude, my legs are like... Hey. Fighting through, though. Fighting through the pain as you travel through Sinnoh over here. I right, Geodude. Metal Claw, super effective. God. Let's just dig that rat. Let's go in Zigzagoon. Just let him take out Zigzagoon. Not let them hit my tank with a dig. I'm avoiding that at all costs. Metal Claw. You've got to be kidding me. You know what? I do need a good flying type. Because we have three Pokemon that are weak to... uh. Weak to ground. I think Tropius is. No, I mean I. Th I know Tropius and Matangar. No, I'm I know Torkoal and Matangar. I think. What's impulse? Is it weak to? Let me look it up. It is weak to ground. We have three Pokemon weak to ground, and there's a ground elite four member. So we have to have a flying type.
We have a strat here, actually. To maximize my XP. I'm gonna let Tropius die. So then the tank comes out and finishes it off. And Tropius doesn't get any of the XP. Because if Tropius was out, they would have shared the XP. Now, Matang, he gets all the XP. Or it. Matang doesn't have a gender, my bad. Metal Claw. No passes down. Look, Matang's gonna level up. 404, enough to level up. Level up to 24. Almost said ranked up. Leveled up. All right, then I'm going to go get this super, not super potion. I'm going to go do this double battle here. Bad matchup. Honestly, the worst matchup we could have had. Chimchar, super effective against my guy Matang. Pachirisu, super effective against Prinflo. But, Prinplup is super effective against Chimchar. But, doesn't matter, if I get out sped, I'm gonna get killed. Yep. Okay, Chimchar's dumb and didn't use a fire move against me. Oh my god, it died. Do I better not die? Because I don't even know where the next Pokemon Center, or where the closest Pokemon Center is that I went to. Let's double into Pachirisu, because that thing's the fastest. Torkoal! Took Pachirisu out. Now we can double into... Into Chimchar. I actually have to heal up Matang, though. Oh, let's go. Let's just go. With the fire move against the fire type. Doesn't have flash fire or anything like that, right? Yeah, I got flame, flame wheel too, Chimchar. All right, Chimchar's done. He's cooked. I want to look up the accuracy on Metal Claw, because that's two times we've missed it so far, and we didn't get it that long ago. All right. Chimchar's dead. Confusion takes it out. GG, no re. Oh, Dawn's here. Hi, Pokeplay. How's your Pokedex come along? Me, somewhere between fantastic and hopeless. I'm kind of the same. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Choose which hand you want. Let's go left. The VS Seeker. Oh, the unseeable items. I, I'd always, every time I'd watch videos of people playing, I always see them do this. I never used it, though. I would never go through and look for those items and stuff. Okay, this is the right way. Cyrus is right over here. Look, the dude in tar charge of Team Galactic. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where Sinnoh began. 
in a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space existed. There should have been no strife. But what came of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife is spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. That means really bad. Oh, the exit's right here. This is Geodudes, I forgot. Can I run from them, you think? Perfect. Look, yeah, the exit's right here. This is so annoying. These stupid Geodudes are every spot. Every rock I break. Geodude, Geodude, Geodude. It, this, is this the only game that's this is like this. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, the first two, the last two are good, though. Single battle? No, I'm good. Um, I were almost at the next city. I assume this fatty right in front of me is going to battle. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes against this guy. Yo, Chapters, thank you for tuning in. How's Sinnoh going so far? It's going great. It's going great. We have two gym badges so far, and we are making our way, I think, over in the right direction of the third. Our team currently, we are using the Beldum we got from Steven Stone. We have Prinplup, the starter, and then the Torkoal we caught in Hoenn. And I have had the realization that we are going to need a flying type because we have three Pokemon that are weak to ground and the first Elite Four member is a ground type. So I'm going to have to come up with something. There we go. The Togepi egg we got from Cynthia hatched. I wonder if it'll say I got that from Cynthia. Here's a little kid. How you feel to be a big man like me? I ain't fat, so let's go. Robert, you fatty. Let's go. He's only got a nose pass. <laughs> Thinks he can beat me? I ain't fat, so let's go. Metal Claw. Critical hit. Oh. I was kind of hoping we one-tapped him there. That would have been nice, you know, rub it in Robert's face. That came around in two hits, though. Good enough. He did seven damage to me. We took him out in two hits. There's levels to this, Robert. There's levels to this. How much more bet I get a Geodude encounter? Leave me alone, Geodude. Didn't I realize how good Togekiss was, so I started using it for reruns. Is it pure flying? Actually, you know what? Is it pure flying type here? Because fairy doesn't exist. Are we at the next town? Oh, Baneri. Let me go heal up. No, I don't want to go to the contest hall. Oh, my God. There, that's what I'm looking for. The Pokemon Center. Right, let's put Togepi in a box for now. I don't plan on using it. There's no one really here I'd want to use. Figure something out. We need a flying type. 
Wait, can I check the decks actually? They have tears over here? Septiles never used? They look, my boys are in overused. Oh my god, is that what OU stands for? Oh my god. O U U U and U U. I've never known that. I've never known that that's what that was for. My brain just exploded right there. Wow. Oh my god. We're having a. Ro oh, we already have a water type though. Nah, I should use Rotom Wash. Can I search flying? Now you can't search type like in Pokemon Go. Hmm. Well, we'll have to pick a flying type. Alright, um, she wanted me to go to that dance place, didn't she? Oh god, that's this place, isn't it? Yeah. My mom's here. Wait, that on the that girl on the right there's a gym leader, right? Or lady on the right. Do I have to do some dance thing here? Can't I just go beat the gym? Can I opt out of singing and dancing on stage? Hey yeah, lady. I know you. You're a gym leader. Wait, am I in? She has a Gengar, I know. I think she's Ghost. Is that the town I'm in? Oh my god. I'm in the place where she's the gym leader of. Oh, the gym's right here. Wait, so she's Ghost. Uh-oh. Do I have good stuff for Ghost? We have a dark move on Matang, but the thing is Matang's weak already to ghost. Ghost gym might be a struggle. Let's try it. Let's go see what happens. Let's lead Printflop. Alright, yeah, you gotta figure out the maze, right? Or the puzzle. This is not what I thought the gym was at all. What the? F Last Molly. Mistrevious! What Bubble Beam does. Hopefully, Bubble Beam does significant damage. I 
Alright, I think I'm gonna take the XP share from Matang now. Because Matang can hold its own now in battle. Yeah, I'm gonna take it from a tank. So the red takes me to the next room. That's kind of nice. I can see the lights of the other trainers. Oh, wait, it's about to die. So I know she has, or at least, well, the teams have been slightly different. I think she has a Gengar, Miss Magius, and Drift Blim, right? Those are her Pokemon. Psywaves Psy waves decently. They're not doing a ton of damage to me. That was a crit. Ah, oh, so close. Remember the red potions? Crap. Let's go Torkoal. But Tangle will level up from uh, the XP it gets from this. When Torkoal beats it. Not if Torkoal beats it. When Torkoal beats it. Tangs up to 25. Come on, Torkoal, I believe in you. Oh, I had a berry that hurt me. Crap. Hopefully he doesn't throw Shadow Ball. Hopefully he doesn't use Shadow Ball or something like that. Shadow Claw, we can eat that, and then we can go. We can go confusion with just stab. Should take it out. There we go. Haunter's down, thankfully. through that way. What the heck? Wait, what? I need to go heal up already. This gym's gonna be hard to get through. I can already tell. We gotta get all the way there. Yo. Is that Felix? Thank you for tuning in on Twitch. I appreciate it. 
All right, back into the gym we go. All right. So I thought the people with the light were other players. Oh God, I was mistaken. It's part of the, it's actually part of the game. Oh, we went through two doors all, we went through the door in the middle. Oh my god, we found our way already! Let's go! Look, that person's got a gibble. Alright, let's go. Let's lead Printplop. Finally, you've arrived. That was easy. Wait, since I can't this country? Oh, so she's from somewhere else. Alright, here we go. Um, second gym battle of the day. Third gym battle in Sinnoh so far. She's four Pokemon. One of them's Miss Magius. Level 25. We're not that underleveled. We can go Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam stab. Magical Leaf. You've got to be kidding me. God, it got the speed drop and I still wasn't fast enough. Let's go Matang right now. Matang's on par level-wise. We can eat one more Pursuit. Weakened its damage with a stupid barrier. We can eat one more Hex, sorry. That's so annoying. The whole weakening the damage with a move. Oh, I meant to put Tropius in. Sorry, Zigzagoon, you just got sacrificed. But never mind, you didn't. Because they healed up, and we're going to heal up too. Yeah, we, I think we have to go level up. I do not think we're, we're good enough for this gym. I think I need to level up. Maybe we just start. We just use Tropius. You think Tropius can do it? You know what? Let we'll try Tropius. Yo, Diddy, thank you for tuning in on uh, YouTube. I appreciate it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna heal Matang again because he's gonna be able to take it out. Or it's going to be able to take it out. Alright. Miss Maggie is down. How much XP do I get? 900! Oh, it wasn't enough to level up. So I think that was her ace Pokemon. Or it's her Gengar. One of those two. I have a Matang Falls there. Now it's up to Tropius, who is the HM Pokemon from Hoenn, and we're using him here. We have Fly. That's the only move we can use. That's Icy Wind. That's four times. See, everybody always hits Tropius with speed drop stuff. As if Tropius, or, uh, oh, that's not, as if Tropius is like the fastest Pokemon there is. Wait, did the Destiny Bond miss? Or did it work because I was up in the air? Yeah. Destiny Bond, man. Destiny Bonds work. What the? 
What was that Pokemon? Oh, it's a Psyduck. Destiny Bond took us down. I wonder, can we go to the next route and will there be trainers we can battle? Because I think we battled everyone on the way here. Nope. What is this? Take a stroll with your Pokemon. Nope. I want to go battle with my Pokemon. That person's got a lax. Look how sick the Snorlax looks. They're not going to let me in. They got the fatties blocking the door. They don't let me through here either. Oh, wait, no, there are trainers I can battle. Okay, you know, I can battle all these guys over here. There's three people over here I can battle. Let's use, um, Printplop. Does anyone else always think these are grass types? Bonsly, Pseudo, Wudo. I guess there isn't an evolution. I, I was saying, I was speaking as if there was a third. There isn't. They look like trees and they have green on them. But they're rock. The imitation tree. Well, this person's got the baby Pokemon. Pseudo, or, uh, Bonsly and Mime Jr. Both, I believe, were in the Lucario movie. That movie made myself and just about everyone else think Lucario was a legendary. Oh my gosh, Mime Jr. Just, why did it survive that? Why did it do so much less damage that time? My starter's getting taken out by a Mime Jr. Thank God that you followed me. I was going to say, if I hurt myself in the confusion and take it out by a Mime Jr., I'm going to be mad. There you go. We took it out, though. Artist William. GG's. I have to go buy potions. I just remembered. I was going to use one. I'm I can't keep using hyper potions on my guys. I can't keep just doing hyper potion, hyper potion, hyper potion. When they're only gaining back 50 HP. There we go. 20 super potions. I don't even think I can, uh, I don't think I can buy Hyper Potions yet in this game. I have them from the other regions. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Again, them saying hope to see you again is kind of weird. It's like, I hope you get dropped. I'm not even going speed run on the bike. So now we're going fast on the bike. Surely this fighter guy down here will want to battle me, right? Surely he'll battle. Let's go see. We're just trying to get some extra levels, if possible. Always the first grass. Especially when you don't mean to go in the grass. There we go. Don't say a word, just take it. That's a little weird. All right, there we go. Another one of the smell ladies. Combi this time. Maybe because Combi's out getting the pollen. You see the bees shaking their butts on the flowers to get the pollen. Let's go Aerial Ace. It goes Bug Bite. Ooh, we should level up from this. Nah, I got Citrus Berries. I wish I could. I wish you could buy Citrus Berries. I would just have those on all my Pokemon at all times. We gotta, like, grow them, right? They're a pain to get in the normal games. Like, especially in... We were trying to get one in, what, Sword and Shield? That was such a pain. For We were trying to get it for Lax, I'm pretty sure, for the, uh... What were we getting it for? Is it the fighting gym? I don't remember. It might have been the tournament at the end. That was a pain, I remember. In the lax through. Playing sword and shield only lax. 
Dude, we're rivaling that game in terms of having to rebattle the gyms to beat them. Or I should say not even rebattle, in attempts to beat the gyms. I, there's got to be someone I avoid over here. Meditite's pretty cool. Meditite's pretty cool. The shiny for these are awesome. Medicham, the shiny is blue. Can't escape. What? Can't escape and then it throws protect. Did I battle you, buddy? Yeah, I did. You? Yeah, I did. This guy over here, I know I didn't battle. I like the music over here. There we go. Alright. Um, perfect. Machop, light work, aerial ace, take it out, no problems. Yo! We're 1,170 subs. Yo, to people that, the, all those that subscribe this stream, thank you so much. Uh oh. Did I just break my computer? Oh no, there we go. Yo, to everyone that subscribed, thank you, thank you. Oh crap. I didn't see, I didn't see I was in the red there. That's my bad. Sorry, Print Plop, that was my bad. On me. Alright. Confusion. Psychic super effects? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's like the lathe would always tear me apart and go badly when I'd use Delete Lord. Surf Edge. I can't climb up there. Oh, God. A great ball. Yeah, throw that away. Wait, we gotta heal up. Where's the Pokemon Center? There it is. I keep seeing people outside the Pokemon Center there, and I'm thinking, like, I instantly think, like, oh, it's blocked, I can't go in. If only we had someone else we could use. Do we have someone we can bring with? I don't think we do. Cast forms a normal type. But actually, let's bring cast form. Because I can put up one of these things and then, okay, actually, let's go cast form. I'm not going to lead with it, though, I don't think. I'm going to lead with Tropius, who's the, the strongest one we've got. I'm going to lead Tropius. Oh, let's try this. New guy to the team. Yo, Alex, thank you for the $2 donation. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good week. I'm having a great week. I hope you're having a good one as well. Did you get to see the eclipse yesterday? You're in Canada, right? Actually, yeah, I know because it says Canadian for the monies. Oh, wait, can I just go straight there? Oh, I can't. I have to beat the gym first. I thought it was that one right there. Oh, 
Oh, it's right here in the middle. Okay, it's middle then left. No, no, no. Oh, wait, no, that is the right one. Oh, crap. Dude, Typhlo... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Typhlosion when we go to Johto. Typhlosion looks so sick in this game for the sprites right there. There's an overcast, but I saw it. Dude, I was streaming yesterday during it. I thought it was gonna get dark out here. It didn't. You could see it with the gl the glasses, which I didn't have during the stream. I, I, got a, I got a pair after the stream. I wish I had them during the stream. It would've been so sick. Because I could've put the, the glasses to the camera and we could look to the sun and seen it. Tropius is doing good. Tropius is doing good. Tropius, the unexpected hero. Tropius takes on Miss Magius. survived that. Now we get to hit it with a fly. We only know two of her Pokemon right now. Oh, this one's a problem, though, because it has Destiny Bond. So it'll take out whoever takes her out. Or it out. Yeah, it is a she. So if I outspeed, Destiny Bond won't have an effect, right? I'm gonna go Torkoal regardless because. No disrespect, Torkoal, you're kind of the weakest ally here. That took it to max. Okay, Torkoal did decent damage. Flame wheel again. What, two more, you think? Or if we get lucky with this one, we can take it out right here? Yeah. It didn't use Destiny Bond. What, I got a crit. You gotta be kidding me. Got a crit right there. Okay, good. Didn't use Destiny Bond. That, I'm just so scared of that. Alright, Pursuit takes out Drift Loom. There we go. That's good. That's really good. But Tank grew up to 46. Or 26, sorry. I wish... Oh, whoa, Bullet Punch. Yes, yes, yes. Get rid of Tackle. Learn Bullet Punch. Finally, I was just saying earlier at the start of the stream, was I not saying that we need a priority move because someone used Quick Attack against me? I'm like, we need a priority move. That'd be so beneficial. Finally, we got Bullet Punch right there. That's awesome. No, I already forgot Takedown. I don't want to relearn Takedown. No. All right, Haunter's out. We can go Confusion against Haunter, which is Stab. This shouldn't take us out. Okay, good. I can survive this other hit. I can survive this second Shadow Claw. But Tang, use a Confusion. Takes out Haunter. Okay, I think this last one's a Gengar. It's a Duskull! Do I swear, I, ha I have a card. Is, I don't know her name, Fantina? I don't know her name. It starts with the F. Fant something. I have a card of hers that is Fantina's Gengar. So I thought she had a Gengar. It's a cool artwork, too. I thought she had a Gengar. She has, I guess. That's so weird. So the last gym leader, she was meant to have a Turtwig, but she had a Grottle instead. This gym leader, she was meant to have a Gengar, but she has a Haunter instead? Or is it just different in the TCG and anime? Because I know in the... No, TCG and anime, she had the Turtwig. And then in the TCG, she has the Gengar. And I'm not complaining, we won. What was her name? I didn't even see the name. Fantina, I think. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. The Relic Badge. Fantina. Relic Badge is kind of a weird name. Shadow Claw's pretty good. Shadow Claw's decent. Wait, 
are those only there for when you... Oh, wait. Those must only be there for when you are doing the reruns. Look, that guy's got an Eevee. No, I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in Thank God. Dude, I went right back right away, and I thought for a second there that it, like, hit me with the, the thing where I had to, uh... Like, it was going to prompt me with something where I had to do it. We don't want to go in there. We're not taking part in no contest. We're going to gyms! We even need cast form that time. Just using Tropius was enough to help out there. Thanks for coming along for the ride, though, cast form. I really appreciate it. Matang, you go back to leading the charge. All right. Where to now? Should we go Pastoria City? Let's go down. Because do towns have gyms? Let's see how this place is called the town, and this place is called the city. I think we have to go to the city for the gym. Dude, this place is kind of cool right here. What, what is this? Oh, it is a church. I was going to say, it looks like some cool church. That's a cool mural up there, too. We got to pray to Lord Arceus. How do I get my tank to look forward to? Oh, wait, no, I had it. I had it. I had it. There we go. Oh, Lord Arceus. No, sorry. Wrong God. Oh, Lord Bidoof. Please give us good luck. And maybe have us find a shiny potentially in this game. Shinies are one in 30,000. There's no way I'm going to go through 30,000 encounters to find one. So, oh great Bidoof, please bless us with some good luck to potentially find a shiny in Poke MMO. Matang, you're supposed to put your hands together when you pray like that. I didn't do that because my hands are on the control. Whatever. Let's go. Hopefully, we get something. Hopefully, we get something in the game. That'd be so sick, a shiny. I bet I'll find a legendary before I find a shiny, though. We are going to look for a... um. We are going to look for a legendary. I want to do Articuno. But someone left a comment on my video saying it's like it's... They go through cycles and stuff. So they might not be available right now. Like, kind of how legendaries uh, cycle through in Pokemon Go. Like, only certain are available at certain times in raids. I think it might be the same thing in this game. Not positive, though. Oh, perfect. Now we can go through. Barry. Barry, we're battling inside the thing here. At least do it outside. Sorry, lady. We're going to ruin this place. Or actually, you know what? Probably not, because I'll make this quick by taking Barry out. Rather quickly. Leads with Staravia. Wait, Staravia has Intimidate? What's with Barry doing the sweaty strats? Throw an Intimidate and swap right away? I don't swap two. Let's go Printplop. I'm trying... I'm still trying to think of... We need some... <sighs> What's too effective against flying? Besides just electric. Ice and rock. There's no rock ice, is there? I mean, flying ice. I mean, obviously. Articuno would be perfect. But to be fair, we don't have to do the Elite Four. Like, right away. We could wait till we get an Articuno to do the Elite Four. That'd be kind of sick, because then when I, we take the group picture at the end, 
Articuno would be with the group. Then when I post it, and you have all five Elite Fours, all five Elite Four teams, that'd be kind of fire. Alright, he has the starter that's good against me, right? I think he does. I think he has a Grottle. It should be a Grottle right now. Oh, I thought I could survive one more. Alright, Matang, it's up to you. 1v3, Matang. Pretty much, because everyone else is on the brink of death. Alright. He didn't get Intimidate off on me. Oh, I got an attack boost. Oh, it's GDs. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, we swapped him out for Grottle. We threw Bullet Punch. Oh, it missed. Oh my god, I was wondering, like, do you think he has a ground-type move yet? Oh my god, it survived. Let's heal off Matang. Remember, Barry already used the heal, too, so it's not like we're just cheating. God, the berries are so annoying! Double attack boost. Grottle out. Sent out Weasel. Okay, so we have Grottle and Staravia low, and we healed up that turn, so that was actually perfect. Water Pulse, I think we've got this. Because he's swapping out here, that's kind of been beneficial to us. Confusion. Thankfully, we have Bullet Punch, so we can just outspeed when his guys come out. This is going to be cutting it close at the end here. Weasel's down. He has two left. Grottle and Staravia. Grottle's out. Do I go? F I'm not. I can't. I have to heal first. Last potion we can use. We outsped. Holy crap. Wasn't expecting to outspeed right there. There we go. Matang's level 27. Then I think we can take it out with a bullet punch. We have double plus attack. There we go. It had a little bit of sliver of red there. I didn't know if it got taken out or not. There we go. Good job, Matang. Matang's balling out for us. Having a bullet punch is huge. Yeah, Barry, you go to the next town. I have to go heal my Pokemon. Damn, that was a good battle with Barry. I'd use all my heals. Normally, we don't have to do all that. Well, normally, we die before we even have the option to. Thanks, Nurse Dory. I appreciate it. This is so sick. Playing through with a Matang like this. Wrong way. Excuse me, lady. Oh, wait, I had to go down, right? Yep. Here we go. Is it going to say something? Professor Elm? That's the professor from Johto. I, I, I'm glad I talked to that guy. That was a cool reference right there.
<laughs> Double battle. Oh my god, is that a Pikachu just standing there? Emma and Lily sent off Bonsley and Mime Jr. We, we battled this duo. Wasn't there was that painter guy had these same two Pokemon, right? Yeah, we battled the same duo already. It wasn't a double battle, though. It was just uh, a single battle where he sent out Bonsley, then Mime Jr. And Mime Jr. almost killed Printful, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, almost one-tapped it. Matang's becoming the powerhouse of the team right now. I was mentioning earlier how the levels are pretty close. We have 21... 22 and 27. Matang's pulling away. Rightfully so. We got that thing from Steven Stone. Pikachu, what's wrong? Hi, hi, I'm a Pokemon. Wait, Pikachu can talk? Oh no, it's a kid. Oh my god. She has a Pichu as well. She doesn't even have a Pikachu. Alright, confusion. Oh, the stupid berries! Wait, why did it become confused? I probably used a move that I wasn't paying attention for. Where did it get confused from my move? My move's called confusion after all. That's a good costume, dude. That looks like a Pikachu. That's a good costume. Look, they're sneaky with these Pokeballs. They have in places where it looks like you can't go to, so you even think about it. Like, it looks like there's not even a path there, but look, sure enough, there is. Dang. Getting taken out. Attacked at from all angles over here. Why is everyone got Mime Jr.? And shouldn't Mime Jr. be weak to Pursuit? Oh, it is. Oh, I must have not had Pursuit the last time we battled one. Huh. Did that do one damage to me? I think he did only one damage. Alright, Mime Jr.'s down. But do- Oh, is she gonna have all baby Pokemon? That's actually kind of cool. What type is the do towards weak to confusion? Or poison? I thought Badoo was pure grass. Obviously, Roserade is part poison, and Roselia is. I actually didn't know that. Look, expanding our Poke knowledge over here today. Oh, can I get an Eevee? Breeder Lady, could you give me your Eevee? I want to get a Glaceon, you see? Glaceon would be beneficial for the uh, the ground Elite Four member. Having an Ice type. Yeah, these things are just doing no damage. And I'm getting like no X. Oh my god, of course it is. I'm getting like no XP from these as well, right? It's going to be like 20. Don't know why I didn't do Bullet Punch in that last one. Oh no, 189. That's not bad. Is that a wild onyx up there? Oh no, that trainer's onyx. Time I battle this person. Guess I can't battle them. Um. Oh wow, there's a lot of people over here. Is this one of the areas where starters spawn? That's what you guys said in uh, Hoenn, because there was that one grass, like, at the beginning of the game, where there was a ton of people. I'm like, why are there so many people here? Then one of you said that, uh, you can get Trico in that grass.
Excuse me. That might be why it's so uh popular over here. I was talking print flop. Can't have Matang die. This thing's just gonna keep boosting its speed to where it outspeeds everybody. Alright, that did no damage though. So hopefully we'll take it out with a bubble beam. Oh, he used a different move, that rat ponita. I can't lose to a ponita. Flies, I think, the most damaging move we've got. Alright, flew up. Became confused, but still flew up high. So with it flying up high, I think that means. It, okay, yeah, I was gonna say it won't like potentially become confused and not attack, right? Because it already flew up. All right, let's go. Heal up with Tang. What's this place? Oh, is this like a cemetery type place? Like the tower in Unova? Yeah, where spirits rest. Oh, God. Didn't mean to run into him to battle. All right, we have Torkoal and Matang out. And they have Baneri and Weasel. We got a double target Weasel because Torkoal's weak. Actually, no. Oh, Weasel used Helping Hand. Okay. Oh my god, they both used Helping Hand. What a bunch of idiots. Let's go. Like, oh, I'll help you. Oh no, I'll help you. Yeah, you both helped each other to do absolutely nothing. Okay, good. This spam helping hand. Light work, then. Veneri's dead. Matang grew to 28. What level does he evolve at again? Forty-five. Forty-five is the level they evolve at. Or it evolves at, I should say. Sorry, the game paused. My phone buzzed. Pokemon Go gave me a notey. Buddy, buddy Pokemon found a candy. Thanks, Lightning Rock. Barry, I just battled you. Yeah, Barry. I'm just going to the Pokemon Center so we can then, if we die, we'll go back to here. Dang, is that Alpha Houndo Houndoom? I almost said Houndor. It's gotta be, right? Look how big it is. Thank you, Nurse Story. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. this the daycare? It is. Sorry. That's sick. You can see the Pokemon in there. Imagine if they had to, like, the actual Pokemon people put in here, you could see. That'd be really cool. Look, I had to be scaling my bike to get up there. Ooh, found some calcium. Got through, perfect. Scared there for a second, thought we weren't gonna be able to get through. Right, is there a gym in here? This place is a city, right? I went to the right spot? No, I didn't. How'd we end up over here? 
I was trying to go here. Oh, great. And then we have three paths to choose from there. I guess we'll go over here. That house, they make it difficult to get to, so it might be something good in there. Was the move relearner in there or something? Not yet implemented, so there is something in here. There is something normally in this house. God, she said the nature. I thought maybe that I'd change I could change the nature there. That'd be OP. If you could change the nature just by talking to that person. PP up, that's decent. What is this place? Wait, what is this place? A Firestone. Is this a maze in here? There's no Pokemon I'm encountering. Oh, so these are ancient ruins. Okay. Think there's anything cool in here? Let's explore in here. I've never been in this area. I've never seen this before. Let's go look in the ruins. Maybe we'll find something cool. Of course it's not sturdy. You rat geo dude. Thank God it didn't use dig. That's the worst. When it's sturdy, then dig. We took geo dude out. For bronze. All right, we have a uh, confusion. Or no, we have a uh, pursuit we can use. Pursuits become rather helpful today. Oh wait, it's not even super effective. It's part steel. Dang it. Okay. Torkel, you're going out. You're going out to battle, Torkel. You ready to throw hands? I feel like I've seen this sideways animation 10 times already, and we've barely been in the battle. Ah, so close. Should be able to take it out, though. I should survive this and take it out. Come on, Torkoal! So we have found a handful of different types that we... Or type duo... or typings that we just can't really handle. Steel Psychic is a difficult one. Bubble Beam. Perfect. Down goes Geodude. Then here comes the Geodude with uh, the head sturdy that's on 1 HP. Perfect. Print Plop needs Bubble Beam. And down it goes. Ooh, I wonder if I get Aqua Jet on Print Plop. That'd be nice as well. Two guys with priority moves. Priority moves are just helpful. Nice to have them. Oh, wait. I can't encounter Pokemon here. Oh, my God. An unknown. Is this rare? We have to catch it. We have to catch it. Bullet punch. Please don't kill it, Matang. Good job. Good job. That's, I got it low. I don't, I'm going to throw a Pokeball. I, I can hit it again. I think maybe. I'm not positive, though. We're going to throw a Pokeball. 
One, two, three. Let's go, we caught a known. Now is this rare? I don't even know. Are unknowns considered like mythical or rare Pokemon or are they just Pokemon? This place is crazy. Well, what's down here? A nugget. Defog. Potion. And mind plate. Nothing crazy down here. Did you get the spirit tomb? I did not. It, I didn't know there was a spirit tomb to get. Heal up Matang. Can I read what this says? No, I can't. Is that what was down here? We went down here already, right? Yeah, nothing there. Another one! Yo, Loisy, thank you for tuning in. I mean, do we really need more? We got one for the decks. I don't think I need another one. That's cool that unknowns are what you encounter down here. Thunderstone. Imagine a shiny unknown. A blue one would be insane. I don't care what letter it is. That'd be awesome. I'm running into the wall. God, do you know what's going to be different getting out of here? I'm trying to make sure we go everywhere, though. I don't want to miss any spots. Where there could be cool stuff. This place is pretty cool. These ancient unknown ruins. Dude, this is... So this is actually why I thought we were getting a Johto game. During the Pokemon Presents. Because of the unknowns at the start. So I'm like, oh, unknowns are Johto. So surely we're getting a Johto game. Then it was Legend Z with Megas. Blew my mind. So we got to go down to go back up. Not going to use a repel down here because if we get a shiny unknown, that would be crazy. We going down here? Yes. So we have to go back up. Okay, this is where we battled this guy. I think we came from that way. No. Why? Where did we come from? Did I go to that top left one? Oh, were that the instructions? Was it telling me how to get down there? I mean, heck, we figured it out with little difficulty. So bottom left, we've seen everything. Now let's go bottom. Oh, there's nothing. Never mind. A green shard. I don't know what that was. I just talked to the guy and he, I, I let him borrow Defog. For a Staravia. Wait, I checked that top right, right? Right? Yeah, right. Then was nothing down here? Oh, we went down there already. And we went down to this one already too? Did I go down this one? I don't remember. Let's check. Yeah, I did. So that must be the instructions, right? 
Top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Yeah, I think those are the instructions to get to the bottom. That's pretty cool. That's a cool little area. I've never known that was there. I go to the Pokemon Center because Torkoal's dead. We have to go heal up our guy Torkoal. Torkoal! We have to heal you! That person has an Alakazam. Alakazam's cool. Scizor's really cool, too. We saw Scizor earlier, though. Alright, we don't need unknown. We'll put unknown. You know, I should put a bunch of Pokemon over in the box, too. How do I move guys to box, too? Oh, there we go. All the guys I don't plan on using. Then all the guys we use, I'm gonna leave on this page. Except like the good stuff we've gotten, we'll leave uh, we'll leave over here. to box two. There we go. Box two's got all the other stuff. Needs all our good guys. The goat. The original starter from um, Unova. The OG OG starter Sceptile. Moxie Crocodile. The Clutch. Haxorus. The Big Boy Slacking. There we go. We got everyone. All right. And with that, I am going to wrap up the stream. We made it through today. Two gyms. We beat the second gym, the grass one, and the third gym, the ghost gym. We have three badges right now. We will hopefully get the fourth tomorrow. I thought I was going to the next town. I thought we were going to here. We ended up over here, so we'll figure out tomorrow where we're meant to go. But for this stream here today, thank you so very much to everyone that took the, two, the time to tune in. Shout out to all the new subscribers, Galaxy Eater and First Raid. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe. And there were some other people that subscribed as well. So to everyone else that took the time to, to subscribe during the stream, I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Um... Shout out to Puffton for the three-month membership. Thank you so very much for that. Shout out Alex for the $2 donation. I really do appreciate that. And to everyone that tuned in, Jacket, Chapters, um, Kaneshi, Lloyd Z, all those that took the time to tune in. Uh, Diddy, thank you for watching. Um, Muhammad, thank you for watching. Pokemon Enjoyer, thank you for watching. Redstone, thank you for watching. Uh, Zekiramu, thank you for taking the time to tune in. Everyone that tuned in today, thank you. Sorry, the chat only goes up so far. So I can't see everyone that took the time to tune in today and type in the chat. To all those that just watch, don't even type in the chat. I appreciate it. I watch stuff the same way. I don't even type in the chat when I watch streams and all that. To all those that just watch, thank you so very much. All those that tuned in today, you guys are the best. Thank you so very much. I will be live tonight. We'll be playing some Pokemon Unite. I will be looking in the Discord a little bit. Might do Pokedoku. We'll be do doing a whole slew of different things tonight. I'm excited, though, to play some Pokemon Unite. I almost did Unite for this stream today. That's how bad I wanted to play it. So we will be playing some Unite tonight. So I'll be looking forward to that. As for this stream, though, that is all. To all those that took the time to tune in, thank you so very much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And this is the Pokeplaya signing out.